What's up my single chads and toxic gamers? How are y'all doing? Today we got a lot of leaks going around. We got PS5 Pro leaking out. We got Call of Duty 2024 stuff that's going around as well. There are a bunch of videos that I want to show you and we got like some scary horror videos that we're going to be checking out later on. For that I got you, uh, I got my Bob of War out here, okay? And there are a bunch of other stuff that I want to show you as well. And they're talking about like Game Pass, like Call of Duty coming to Game Pass. Appreciate all the love on the channel recently. Thank you all for liking and subscribing and I want to say if you're on YouTube we're also streaming on Twitch as well yo what's good slushy what's good water welcome back man all right let's actually get into this one okay I gotta show you guys this real quick so uh, apparently Xbox is planning to bring Call of Duty to Game Pass day one we're, we're gonna get down to PS5 Pro video as well and all the leaks that are going around right Xbox is planning Call of Duty to come to Game Pass day one uh, but we're not entirely a hundred percent sure as of now okay Charlie until says that as a reminder Modern Warfare 3 is the final Call of Duty title under the PlayStation deal which started in 2015 though yay and Xbox new 10 year contract begins with Call of Duty 2024 and it includes the same day releases across PlayStation Xbox PC and eventually Nintendo with no exclusive content or benefits for any platform so I mean I, I would say that's a W but it's like guys are that no exclusive benefits I thought I heard a rumor that Xbox was going to get exclusive Activision has now officially released the first ever bundle that cost cost 3400 Call of Duty points Bruh. Highest bundle price ever, $34. In order to buy it, the closest Call of Duty points purchase is $40, which is gonna... So they have like a bundle, right? So you cannot directly purchase this for $34. You need to spend about $40 in buying the $5,000 Call of Duty points bundle, and then you can buy this beautiful skin for $34. That don't mean Jack in the real world. <laughs> What are we thinking? Any of you bought it? Like, come on, man. Like, come on. There's gotta be at least one of you that bought it, right? And then they have the audacity to update and say, okay, so Activision has stated that the 3400 Call of Duty points bundle has been removed from the store and it will return at 2400 Call <laughs> of We got leaks about GTS 6 that I wanna get into as well. But holy crap, man. Holy crap. Okay, so check this out, right? So if you buy... $40 worth of 5,000 Call of Duty points, then you can buy this skin for 3,400 Call of Duty points, and when you do, they will give you 1,000 points back Bruh. as like a token of appreciation that you were this dumb enough to buy it. I mean, if you're an oil prince, then I get it. 39 bucks for that. The PS5 Pro coming in 2024, but is it too soon? Like and subscribe, appreciate all the love, man, and let's check it out. I'm going to talk about a surprisingly controversial piece of hardware that isn't even officially revealed yet, yeah. which is the PlayStation 5 Pro. There have been a ton of leaks and rumors and analysis predictions about the fact that very likely Sony is going to be releasing this next gen version of the PS5 probably around October. Yeah, I, around October, get ready to sell a kidney or two, man. Like, it, it's gonna happen. Let's be real. You, honestly, like, how much do you think it's gonna cost? So, here in the next couple months, I think we can expect the fact that we're gonna see a reveal and what specifically is different or better about this mid-gen refresh. And what's kind of strange to see is yeah, the- I can genuinely see like GPS 6 coming out at 30 FPS on the normal PS5 and 60 FPS on the PS5 Pro. That's what I truly believe is gonna happen. The amount of people already that are not happy about the PS5 Pro or are straight up confused by it. But let's take a look at the evidence yeah. and I wanna take a look a lot at what you guys are saying because I've been asking subscribers to weigh in on their kind of consensus about the idea yeah. of how we're going to be playing our PS4, PS5. Yeah, I want my toxic gamers on this one. I want my single chads on this one. I want the Xbox. I want the Sony ponies. Because let's be real, man. Like, the only reason I might actually cop, we're gonna get down to the video and the leaks, guys, but the only reason I might buy, I, I gotta buy, like, let's be real, sad, as sad as it might sound, like, because I got, I'm doing YouTube, right? And secondly, dog, the GTSX, though. GTSX is by far the main reason why I'm gonna buy the, the PS5 Pro because let's be real, it's probably gonna be 30 FPS. Do you guys think that it's gonna be 30 FPS? You, if that happens, that it's 30 FPS on the normal PS5, uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X, it's a joke, guys. I have games to look even better very, very soon. 
Hi, I'm Dreamcast Guy. If you enjoyed this oh, wow. I didn't know. video, be sure to give it a like yeah. and subscribe if like you haven't already. Subscribe. So Guess basically, like tons of different people are coming together to unanimously say that 2024 is the year of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Whether you like it or not, it seems like we're probably going to get it sometime before November. That's usually yeah. when they like to try and drop I, I mean, listen, November, god damn. We, we, we're, we're hearing that Call of Duty 2024 is coming out in October, though. Yo, what's good? What's good, Bobby? What's good going out of space? How how both of you last doing today, man? Hardware is get it on shelves so it's ready for the holiday season. A lot of times they like to try and drop it, obviously, before the holiday season. So yeah. people have a chance to yeah. pick it up so kids can ask their parents to buy it yeah. for Christmas. Not or necessarily ask their parents, but more like threaten their parent to buy them a PlayStation 5 Pro. <laughs> you know what? That's basically what's going to happen. Like, kids are going to be like, yo, mommy, mommy, buy me a PS5 Pro. Mama going to say no. And then they're going to be like, okay, well, I'm not going to eat for the entire day. Two days, three days, uh, obviously they're gonna start to find like new ideas and whatnot. And then in the in the end, mommy and daddy's probably gonna see the price of Xbox Series S and they're gonna see, well, that seems kinda good on the price. <laughs> so a lot of kids are probably just gonna end up getting the Series S, let's be real. Or whatever. Now, I decided to talk about this on Twitter and I said, is it too soon for the PS5 Pro? Because I think I've got a very PlayStation centric audience. I review most games on PlayStation and while I do have an Xbox and a Nintendo Switch and this super gaming PC that I'm editing. My guy thinks he has a PlayStation centric audience. My guy, you do have a PlayStation centric audience. Oh my God. You know I, mean? I mean, on a real though, most probably like if you cover news about PlayStation, let's be real, you have it. Uh, I have it as well like that's not a shocker because like the numbers are two times uh or some they're also saying three times even bigger than the xbox uh, right the ecosystem i have the newer playstation 5 the fat boy and have more money for the pro put up hey people what is up i'm a pro toxic gamer i think 60 fps it's easily gonna be have you ever played halo nah i've never really played halo uh, sadly sadly D does he have a dreamcast i don't think he has you want the playstation 7 already but what are we thinking about like is playstation 5 pro coming out too soon though when you think about it on a real it guys by the end of 2024 sit down okay sit down clench your butt cheeks by the time ps5 of ps5 pro comes out it's gonna be four years since the original ps5 has come out oh, shit. Oh, yeah it came out back in 2020 i mean i know like we had covid and 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 time flies time flies like crazy though eating this it's been good. It's very be likable years. video I still like to game most on my PlayStation and hunt trophies and stuff. And I find uh -huh. it fascinating that almost universally people are saying, even if here in the votes, but like, it feels uh, too soon. Uh, this I has agree. almost 1100 votes. People are mostly saying too soon with, there is still obviously about 400 people who are saying they definitely want one. Now, to be clear, I'm going to buy a PlayStation 5 Pro. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to play it. Oh. Come on, man. You're standing up, Slushy. Come on, bro. Sit down, bruh. Let me show you some kishi. Uh, full on homo. Uh, full on homo. Yo, OG, OG host, host, and how you doing, bro? I want to review it. I want to review games on it. But it's interesting the amount of people that are saying stuff like this. There's no reason for them to make one at this point. Yeah. They should focus on the next gen because I, I don't feel like that many games are coming out that would require a PlayStation 5 upgrade. Oh, 100%, now, this, 100%. Even this concept to me is fascinating because. I think it shows the duality of the PlayStation 5. I think that graphics are just already so incredibly cutting edge on Sony's hardware and also on the Xbox Series X. And of course, on PC, games look so good, they play so good. It's kind of hard for a lot of people playing it on a standard TV to imagine stuff looking better. But people and they're saying, like, it's going to be 8K, guys. 8K. Like... <laughs> Yeah, any of you got 8K TV? Like, let's be real, man. How many of you got 4K? I mean, okay, I'm assuming, like, most of you probably have 4K TVs. Uh, I personally have a 4K TV, but my mama watches that. I, I play on mon monitor in my in my bunker here, right? Like, I, I got, like, 1080p monitors. I ain't got no time. I mean, I cannot even afford a pencil out here, dog. Like, let's Bruh. be real. Cannot, so I'm, therefore, I'm not buying, like, a 4K monitor. And I feel like that if I do, like, I will just, uh basically ruin my expectations because already i'm like like i cannot play games if they're 30 fps and 
and most games that come out nowadays are like they're struggling to hit 60 fps Bruh. you guys know it right so it's like what are we talking about here man i want most games to be 60 fps like let's be real 60 fps in the year 2024 should be the standard but when devs are having trouble making games run at 60 fps on ps5 the xbox series x i mean what are we talking about guys like come on man like touch some grass man <laughs> or i mean like if you're a dev uh kind of gets uh, understandably like it gets hard to touch a grass uh, even for myself as well so okay scratch that part Bruh. but but here's the thing right like 60 fps they gotta be 60 fps though come on now man like the video if you agree they're basically chiming in here to say stuff like this uh glorious kev very very uh, hardcore pc master race guy a uh, good buddy of mine and he said this i hope that guys give you one and i hope it frequently does 120 fps on all games now i think he's being a little bit hyperbolic here but he okay. does does raise a good point. Mm. Games are resolution wise fantastic on the PlayStation 5. Uh, games manage to have great depth, good coloring, crazy graphics, good load times obviously because of the solid state. The one place they are definitely still being held back is the fact that frame rate of a yeah. lot of games is still surprisingly bad. Like how are they releasing games that are at 30 FPS in freaking 2024? Especially yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like holy crap, man. What are we talking about? I do feel like that if I ever buy a 4k monitor and start gaming on a 4k monitor i will my expectations will shoot off the roof though so uh, all of a sudden i'm like bro game gotta be 60 game gotta be 4k you know what i'm saying like I, I would definitely ruin my expectations and i don't want to like 60 fps is the only thing that i demand and, and, and games being good and we can, uh, these things cannot even met these expectations bro with how powerful these systems is every game should run at 60 fps minimum like that's what spider-man did and let me tell you i thought it was great where's the option for i don't care if there is a pro just me personally but i feel like the ps4 pro was a waste and i feel like the ps5 pro Damn. will be the same a lot of people are yo yo would you say ps4 pro was a waste though i, I don't think it was though i i think ps4 pro was actually you know because we had a lot of games though you know what I mean? During the PS3, 360, and Xbox One, and PS4 era, we had a lot of games. This this generation feels dry as hell, though. You, you feel what I'm saying? What kind of grass are you talking about, lol? I'm talking about the blue grass. Uh, yo, what's good, man? Uh, back. Uh, how you doing? I cannot pronounce your name because it's in another language. Yo, Alia, what's good? Uh, don't forget free to play online. Yep, as a brown man, I demand free to play uh, for online. Free online. Shining like, about the fact that this is about the time that PlayStation likes to do a mid-gen refresh. I don't need it, but I'm a sucker, and gaming is my main hobby, so I'll probably buy one. Y'all do realize the base PlayStation 4 model came out in holiday of 2013, and a PS4 Pro came out three years later. If yeah. PS5 Pro came out this year, that means it had been four years. I think it's totally fine. Now, this guy's math is technically correct. Here is the original release date of the PlayStation yeah, 4. Yeah, it's not that it's coming out too soon. It just feels like it's coming out too soon because there aren't any games uh, that are big or that feels truly next gen right guys but because it, by the time it comes out it's gonna be four years so and, and that's like on on track that's like normal because that's what they did back uh, with the uh, playstation 4 as well i believe playstation 4 pro if the math is right easily like by the end of 2017 right? four and then we got the playstation 4 pro so I'm one of those people, though, where I got the PlayStation 4 Pro very late. I actually got it, I think, about a year and a half after the PS4 Pro came out. But additionally, a, a fact that's kind of overlooked is the fact that the PlayStation 4 Pro was created for a specific purpose. Sony did not realize that 4K would come out so quick. Yeah. When they originally made the PlayStation yeah. 4, it, it only had the capabilities to do 1080p. So when 4K became accessible, they created the 4 Pro to essentially have some sort of checkerboard upscaling, where it wasn't real 4k and honestly if you're looking to buy a ps5 pro i guess the best thing is to just literally trade in your your ps5 if you already bought it how many of you guys bought ps4 if I, how many of you got ps5 or series x right now because if you do have a ps5 i guess it's uh okay double tapping doesn't work uh to like for me on mobile okay yeah it's like i don't i think they were they they probably gonna remove the like button in the future then maybe they're testing it out with the, the vertical stream or something all right it's fine it's fair it's fair but if you're able to like the stream like the stream man eh? like the stream man i got you got the series x you got the ps5 slushy i got you man or true 4k as they called it but the playstation 4 pro was a way to make your games look good especially of course on sony televisions when now that's kind of the weirdness we do have games that are in 4k we have games that look good in 4K, but maybe they don't have stable frame rate in 4K. 
for me personally, I do feel like the upgrade of the Pro is going to be very tiny. A lot of the leaks are actually talking about the yeah, fact that yeah, the yeah. primary reason that Sony is looking into this is for those major GTA AAA 6. games. Stuff like yeah. Grand Theft Auto 6. GTA 6 is going to be the main reason to buy this puppy, man. I think like uh, GTA 6 is easily going to be like 60 FPS and these things about to turn GTA 6 on the normal uh, PS5. Uh, probably 30 FPS. I, you don't have a PS5 or a PS4, so what you got, man? What you got? Xbox, PC? Uh, I got PS5, managed to get a first release. Yo, same here, bro. I remember when I first bought it. I, it, like, Walmart, and literally all of the retailers, they went, they went with their pre-orders early and everybody went crazy and I, I was like okay you know what it's like selling out everywhere and i ended up ordering and i and i got ps5 like a day or two days late but i, I and i'm talking about like november of 2020 and it was ridiculously hard to get so i was very very lucky and i, I think you were also I, literally anybody that got to uh buy day one and pre-order they got very very lucky honestly is internally sony themselves admits that that's their obsession the games that are going to sell 10 million copies or 15 million copies the call of duties and stuff huge triple a blockbuster best sellers apparently sony's idea is like okay if we can get those games to look best on our console then we'll sell a lot of the console which i mean you can't exactly disagree with now i think uh pio he actually uh, I mean, did a poll uh, himself uh, here uh, he, uh, wrong. i will disagree he had uh, three options i'll wait for the game to come to pc i'll buy a playstation 5 pro or i'll play it on my base ps5 or the xbox series consoles it it is wild to me because pretty much every leak every detail everything i've seen that's been talked about to cnbc that's been leaked by insider gaming i a thousand percent believe this console is coming this yeah. year it, it's no longer a matter of if it is definitely just a matter i of mean we had so many leaks back uh like last year two years ago about a ps5 pro this year now cnbc analysts are analysts are talking about it so many sources are talking about it the homie tom henderson leaked it like a year ago at this point it is happening it's just a matter of when i mean they're targeting by the end of this year and there also there have been reports that these seconds have sent out like early dev kits of ps5 to the devs as well so it is very likely uh, that is we're gonna get and maybe it can get delayed to early 2025 but it is coming they they want to put this out before gtsx comes out because they know that gtsx is gonna be the main reason to buy and they're gonna be selling a lot of ps5 pro just because of that just because of gtsx if gtsx was not coming out they would have still sold it but probably not as much as uh what they might be able to sell when it comes out especially if they're paid games you got two ps5 two what uh, you got two ps5 one in my bedroom the other one in my van got two uh 70 inches v's yo quantum color iq gaming graphics card built in i mean you my guy be living life right now man what are we talking about it cheers to the homie bobby in the chat come on bobby can a brother get two pennies i cannot even afford a pencil out here brother got like two playstation fives though that's i love to hear that man i love to hear that my man win and people are still saying will this even make money at this point i think sony is a bit in panic mode because oh, of a variety of factors oh, so oh, just yesterday Yo. sony lost 10 billion dollars in stock value now the reason for this is because they came under on their financial predictions they thought they'd sell more playstation 5s they thought they'd sell more games and a lot of the games they made were way more expensive than they predicted this game just spider-man cost them 300 million dollars yeah. man that is crazy though like there are movies that are not even uh <laughs> that doesn't even cost that much 300 million dollars can a brother get uh, like three benjis or something like that i mean god damn man what are we talking you black man just i'm doing good man what about you brother uh nacho what's good welcome on and do you think xbox will come out with a pro uh now rumors has it that the next gen xbox will come out in 2026 instead and i think that's a good strategy because those suckers have found out that most people are not gonna buy xbox uh, they're gonna go with playstation so uh, i i genuinely feel like that if they do this way we're gonna get ps5 pro by the end of this year right and then you got the next gen xbox which is going to be better than ps5 and ps5 pro right and that comes out two years after and then you got playstation 6 coming out in 2028 that's what we're hearing right now that's like the word on the street okay and if that's the case though like xbox might get a shot on uh, uh getting their consoles selling out more because there will be surely a lot of people and myself included i would 
would be like, okay, well, we gotta wait like two years for the next PlayStation. I'm doing YouTube. So I just wanna know what's happening. I'm gonna buy it. So every, mostly all the YouTubers gonna buy it because game's gonna look better on it, graphically speaking. Because if it comes out, if it comes out before the next gen PlayStation, you, you feel what I'm saying, right? So I think that would be a good strat. That's what the what that's what we're hearing. Not sure if that's gonna be true or not. I mean, time will tell Nick, us, I guess. That means it needs to sell five million full-priced games to break even so clearly on the financial side they're trying to find a way to make more money yeah, i think yeah, they're yeah, trying yeah. to look into the luxury gamer demographic there has been this number that's luxury. been kicked around which is the idea yeah the oil princes of the gaming world man yo any oil prince in what shit you appreciate all the love on the stream thank you all for the 30 likes man thank you man my man yeah that apparently 10 percent of gamers 15 percent of gamers will buy the most expensive version of everything every collector's edition every digital deluxe special release every uh, fancy controller with cool infographics fix on it there is a demographic of gamer that will buy that it feels yeah. like sony Toxic really gamers. wants to try and tap into that that's why they're releasing all these cool special edition controllers even if the playstation 5 pros upgrade is tiny there will be people who pick it up for yeah, me true. all i want to be honest is better frame rates i feel like the graphics of these games is already fantastic but i understand the people that are basically saying where are the games at I yeah. feel like that is a fair Man, it's such a slap on everybody, every, all the gamers' face. It's like, holy crap, what are we talking about here? Where are the games? Do you guys feel the same way? I mean, don't get me wrong. We had quite a lot of very, very good games, right? Like God of War, for example, right? We had Spider-Man, we had Horizon, we had Stray, that cat game as well. We also got Helldivers recently. Yeah, sure, like, these are good games, but nothing really massive. I mean, and these are good games, don't get me wrong wrong but it's like you cannot compare these games with what we were getting back in the ps3 and ps4 days right now the, the ge this generation really feels dry and on a real though when you think about it what is truly a next gen game there isn't a single game that looks next gen god of war looks amazing spider-man 2 looks amazing not denying that not even uh th that's uh th not saying it's a bad okay the they game these games look amazing all right but do they look next gen think about it right because uh if i'm not Mistaken, the only game that you cannot play, the only two that I'm thinking I could be wrong, you can definitely correct me Ratchet and Clank and Spider Man 2, I believe, right? You cannot play on the PlayStation 4. If you still are holding on to your PS4, you good, you good, because this generation is so dry. And if you've never bought PS5, and you're waiting for it, I guess PS5 Pro might be the one, uh, with GTA 6 especially. Yo, when that when the GTA 6 comes out, bro, like, sheesh, bro, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fire, bro. Teak of Sony. A fair pushback to PlayStation is that as good as the PS5 has been, as good as third-party output has been, as much as freaking Square Enix is carrying this console on their backs, where are the Sony games? We're getting some of them, but are we getting enough? And is nope. PlayStation nope. 6 going to be any better? I do think I that console so. production time is just getting longer. Making games for the PlayStation or the Xbox or even the Nintendo Switch. Yo, by the time we get to like PlayStation 10, we're only gonna be getting like one game per generation. <laughs> like, holy crap, where are the games? I think there were a lot of high quality games, but the quantity uh, is very minimal. Yeah, like we, we got some decent games, but it's like you know, nothing is really uh, feeling too big. I, I mean, GTA 6 is gonna be the biggest game. Like, let's be real, right? Yo, you food, what's good, man? How you doing, man? How you doing? Watch my friend video after. Uh, I got some videos that are lined up. Uh, so when we are done with it, you can definitely recommend me. And I got you, you food, but not for now, not for now, okay? Uh, and I, well, how you doing, man? A A E 86, how you doing, brother? GTA 6 Fall 2025, Xbox Pro Fall 2026. Uh, Black Mantis, we're hearing it's gonna be like the next gen xbox not just like an xbox series x pro it's gonna be like a true next gen console just like how playstation 6 will be in 2028 or 2027 give or take okay uh this would be the perfect chance for xbox to capitalize yeah exactly i yeah that's exactly what i was saying it's like if we we have xbox console that that comes out that is superior than playstation 5 pro and you got no playstation console coming out for the next two years then there will be a lot of tech people that will get it youtubers will get it xbox fans obviously they will get it as well and some PlayStation fans would also get it though, because uh, they 
they will realize that, okay, well, you know, game's gonna look a little bit better on that. So instead of getting a PC, they will just get that. So I, I truly believe that for Xbox, that would be a better strategy rather than releasing their Xbox with a PlayStation because they, they cannot compete. I mean, that's Phil Spencer said. They can compete, in my honest opinion, if they keep on dropping bangers after bangers. But that's what Phil says. And, and, and if I was Microsoft, I would be definitely 100% waiting for PlayStation to drop their console and a year after i would drop my console that's better than playstation right so i think phil is definitely playing the long game this is the biggest gta 6 leak we had in a while like and subscribe let's check it out man did the lucia bruna get leaked out once again roll it let's this see. is shaping up to be the biggest gta 6 leak we've had in a very long time we'll be talking about all that in this video today and a whole lot more so apparently oh, wow. a playstation developer took to social media to share some information about grand theft auto 6 which oh, wow. i know sounds weird but i want to take everything with a grain of salt because gta 6 has been shrouded in leaks. Everything from the initial details of the game, Bruh. that it was going back to Vice City, featuring a female main protagonist, yep. to the infamous leaks that occurred in September. Yeah, if this leak is real, because I'm hearing a lot about this leak that a PlayStation dev actually leaked GTA 6, right? And if this is like really, really true, <laughs> holy crap, imagine going from a game that was so secret that even the aliens didn't know about to becoming the the most known i mean technically like they revealed the game so now everybody knows about it so that point kind of you know what we'll scratch that part let's move on Bruh. 2022 where we saw early alpha development footage of the game to basically the trailer being leaked 12 hours before it was supposed to come out long story yeah. short gta 6 has leaked left right and center and apparently a playstation dev that goes by the user nema on social media ended up putting out a handful of details Nima? let's go ahead and dive into them right now and we'll go over everything that's said and then we'll jump back in and break everything down so here here we go gta 6 the game begins with another robbery mission there will be a surrender option when dealing with the cops dual wielding Yo! Yo, what thoughts on this one real quick guys there will be a surrender option when dealing with the cops so does that mean that yo let's uh, let's be real right if you got like 20 star wanted level yeah landon we obviously are like that we are, uh, how you doing landon how you doing happy what's good welcome back travis what's good man? welcome back in welcome on in what this means it means that you might actually be able to surrender though thoughts on this one real quick what are we thinking w l or or you got the you caught the erectile dysfunction because I do believe this is a good one. I think this is a good one, but let's be real. Does that mean that if, if you got like five star wanted level, right? Can you then surrender? I would like to believe that then they will just shoot you down. Like they wouldn't even ask you questions, but on a two star wanted level, I think this option is very good. I, I hope like even for three star wanted level, if they let you surrender, that's good, right? Because as soon as you get two star wanted level, Six is gonna shoot you down, bro. Like they don't even ask you questions. In weapons are back. The game has an eagle eye feature similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, allowing players to highlight items slash targets in the open world or interiors. Moving on, the game has the highest number of mini games among all GTA titles, including oh, golf, dang. basketball, tennis, pool, and for the first time, a new fishing mini game involving diving and catching a variety of sea animals such as fish, dolphin, shark, etc., using a harpoon. There's also mm. vehicle and animal discovery and tracking system similar to one in Red Dead Redemption 2 and each vehicle will become part of your discovery set. Yo, like the like the video if you actually like that surrender option. Dislike the video if you don't like it. I want to know like where the gamers are at with that. Once you enter it and discovering a certain number of vehicles in one class will unlock new modifications for that specific vehicle class. Now the game is also going to introduce an eagle eye feature similar to RDR2 allowing players to highlight items and targets in the open world or interiors and Rockstar initially considered implementing a real life form of cryptocurrency into the game including NFTs but this idea has likely been scrapped. There's also going to be NPC interaction menu from RDR2 making a return. The game's map will evolve over time and every in-game... And, and this is something that we heard like uh, a year and a half, potentially even two years ago at this point that, yep, the game is going to launch in a smaller fashion. It's still going to be big though. Like it's, we all saw that Lucia Bruna is like massive, right? Like that Bruna was big, okay? Bruh. So the game is still going to be massive. And let's be real, that Bruna is probably going to take like 50 gigabytes of space on your PlayStation Xbox. I mean, like let's, what are we talking about here, man? You know that gonna happen but we did hear that the game is gonna launch smaller in comparison to other gta games it's still gonna be big but you know not like 10 times bigger let's just say right it's still gonna be big but they are gonna do a thing where in the future we get like more content in gta online gta 6 online not in terms of just the updates but we're gonna be getting like map expansions and i think that's brilliant that is amazing but we probably are not gonna get dlc for story mode though yeah that like kiss that dream goodbye i mean like it's one of those things right like whenever the tiger 
taste blood it's just over what i mean by this is that rockstar games they saw the money coming in like tsunami with the gta online updates and they're like f out of here we ain't doing none of that fool and uh, we're just gonna be dropping it for online i think i i hope if whenever they're trying to drop it like the map expansions for the online mode i hope they also drop it for the story mode where you can you know you have like a bigger map to travel to probably not gonna have any story for single player but you feel what i'm saying right it pissed me off when the cops just gunned me down uh, at one to two star one level so yeah okay you like that good no nfts we're probably gonna have in-game nfts uh uh, uh pro yeah like gta 6 wise right gta universe wise where you're probably not even gonna you're not gonna be able to buy with real money i'm assuming or you never know you never know oh shit oh, yo what if they do a thing where you buy shark cards and you can buy like nfts with that i mean they can still do that sadly action requires a specific tool that players can acquire throughout their playthrough from lock picks to cutters to open vehicles and more now moving on there are currently no plans for future single player expansions npcs yeah, there, and man. cops will both remember your appearance and vehicle and they will interact with you differently based on your actions if you keep the same yeah. appearance and last but not least lucia and jason will live in the same house which changes several times throughout the story most of the game's events and missions will be broadcasted on news and social media with npcs commenting and discussing them and some missions can be played as both jason and lucia okay so Let's go ahead and dive into this entire thing. This was also shared on the GTA 6 subreddit where it is one of the oh, most shit. upvoted okay, posts. Okay, we better get inside. Okay, my, my guy asked, what if GTA 6 is bad? Then we cry. When we, we, it's over. It's over. Like, society is done. If GTA 6 turns out too bad, it's just over. Over the last, really, month or so. And going back to the very first post, the game will begin with another robbery mission. This would not be surprising, considering that's basically how Rockstar starts off the last two games. I mean, if you think about it, GTA 5 had the North Yankton bank robbery. It sort of, yeah. sort of gets you started, shows you the controls. That also happens in the snow, which is interesting because Red Dead Redemption 2's first mission happens in the snow. And the very first mission involves a robbery as well of the Adler residents so even though this game takes place in tropical leonida and vice city will there be I, I genuinely feel like that it was such a missed opportunity for not like leaving uh the option to go to north yankton when you finish the game it's like they have the entire area down why not have it in multiplayer why not have it in gta 5 single player as like in in free room right where you can take a plane and just go down there right it's like it doesn't show let's let's keep it like secretive as it was it doesn't show up the map, but you take a plane and you can go down there. I think that would have been dope, though. And I want some like that. I want, like, some secret, uh, I don't want to say, like, island. Because I know, like, I, I know, I know what, what I, you know what I'm thinking about it, right? Like, with the, with, you know, the island situation that's going on. And that was closer to, like, uh, Florida as well. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Oh, but nah, not that. I'm talking about, like, just, like, some good island okay none of that crap that we're you know what i mean none of that crap I, I hope there's like secret areas that you can explore in gta 6. I almost a snowy there, first mission or is it going to be something like we saw in the leaks like the hanks waffle robbery diner or is it going to be something that we saw in the very first trailer that was highlighted is that going to be the opening mission now we know from the gta 6 leaks that the surrender option when dealing with cops is going to be coming back that yep. is one of the prompts that we saw in the leaks dual wielding weapons are back we saw this with the crazy hammer lady Parry. in the gta 6 trailer it feels like that is going to be knowing rockstar they might parody that, parody that. if they do bro already there's so many circuits that are trying to cancel i'm talking about the journalists that you know when the trailer first came out and people went like in a frenzy mode people were like yay hey, we gotta cancel we gotta cancel gta we gotta cancel you know so many good journalists were asking for the cancellation if they actually do uh, do that and go the route of showing the app island i don't want to say the full word but you know what i mean right if they do that holy crap this is gonna make international headlines though it's gonna bring in so much controversy but so many people are gonna talk about it and their game is gonna double its sales though if i was rockstar i would do that honestly uh, i would be up for taking a plane to another area or see yeah that that's what i'm talking about like it doesn't need to be that island i was thinking about like some like good areas right like for example north yankton uh, that could have been a, an area that you could have take a plane and you you could go there in gtf but because they they put an effort right like they, they put all of that work in making the north yankton area and then you're telling me that y'all suck is not gonna have that in the game that y'all suck is not gonna let anybody go there i mean come on man like it, it could have been a very very good thing if you could take a plane go in gta online go to go to north yankton uh and and that crap that would have been really really good just like miami joker he needs help a confirmed feature which is kind of cool 
And like what we also saw in the right. leaks, we have the ability to sort of eagle eye or highlight items and targets that we might see in the world, very similar to Red Dead yeah, Redemption yeah, 2. Yeah, 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 now we yeah. also know that there's going to be a handful of mini games returning. One of the things that was rumored was there was going to be like a three versus three basketball mode, but from the trailer, we have already seen tennis courts, and it would not be shocking considering how popular the fishing mini game stuff was in Red Dead Redemption 2. The Rockstar decides to build upon that in Grand Theft Auto 6. This time, kind of taking it to an even deeper level because you're going to have access to better technology faster boats etc so you'll be able to harpoon fish dolphin sharks we did see a harpoon gun in the gta 6 leaks and from what we've seen yo this area is gonna be crazy man if this game got this much life bro like oh my god bro yo when is this game coming out man two in a row holy deli yes maestro we back live streaming a game man how you doing brother how you doing i've said it before and say it again if it's not coming from rockstar game themselves it's not true to be honest though a lot of the leaks uh, were true i i understand where you're coming from and that's perfectly fine if you don't want to believe it i mean these are rumors and, and leaks let's be real and we're keeping it like that but but a lot of the leaks came true my guy probably it, it depends on if you if you if you were taking those th that information from good sources or not but the one that i'm talking about the uh, the sources that i'm talking about uh they they were actually pretty uh credible pretty reliable we're never gonna see this game we will they will put out trailers till we drop I mean, if this game gets delayed to 2026, then it's Joe over, bro. So far in the leaks, it looks like both vehicles and animals will have a significant role. And it looks like that discovery slash journal compendium system will be carrying over from Red Dead Redemption 2. And this Yay. is a interesting way in which you can unlock various upgrades for vehicles is by finding more. And this puts sort of a priority on trying to find vehicles that you might not necessarily want to keep. But if you discover them, it'll give you the option to put different attachments and whatnots on the ones you are interested in. Now, one thing I'm highly skeptical of is the addition of crypto. I mean, if the next scene is also slow-mo like that, then holy F, you know what I mean, right? If you've seen the trailer, you know what's what's coming right now. You know what's coming right now! Currency as well as NFTs, are those Hi, even a thing? I feel like yeah, those died real. out like months or I a mean, year ago. I mean, look at that, man. We got so many sisters out here. Come on, guys. I like, like we, we got brother out here just uh, wasting his money on sisters like that. Come on, bro. Like, oh, there's no way. It's like I show speed is celebrating his birthday right now. That's that's how it feels like Rockstar put something like that into the game. So I'm going to call uh, some smoke and mirrors on that one. What I don't call smoke and mirrors on is the NPC interaction menu from RDR2 making a return. We saw that in the GTA 6 leaks. It would also not be surprising if the game's map evolved over time. GTA 5 yeah. had that to a certain degree and to an even more degree. Red Dead Redemption 2 definitely had that. Holy crap, man. This OK, I have not seen the GTA 6 trailer in like months, right? Like obviously when it came out, like I watched it a bunch of times, but then it's like I went cold turkey, and uh, because right now it's like nobody's really talking about GTA 6 because everybody was like, okay, well, you know what, we got the trailer. Now we gotta just wait for the game, right? Like everybody's waiting for the game to come out, and when 2025 rolls, man, everybody's gonna be on this again. Everybody's gonna be talking about it right now. I. I'm seeing this, like many people are not talking about GTA 6. Ever since they dropped the trailer, everybody went silent. Before the trailer, oh, where's GTA 6? The game would trend every week, right? Now it's not trending anymore because we got the trailer. Nobody cares, right? Everybody knows it's coming out in, in 2025. So everybody's waiting for it. How does the GTA 6 trailer have 300k dislikes? But it probably got like millions of likes. So it kind of balances out. I mean, like, you know what I mean, right? Like, so because like, like I was saying, there were, uh, there are a lot of journalists that are really dead ass trying to cancel the game like i made videos on it and Sega thought that i'm asking for the game to be canceled meanwhile i'm covering the news and some people didn't uh, i i seen like uh like few comments that that were like a schedule there's nobody that is trying to cancel the game my god like there are journalists that are trying to cancel and when i say cancel i'm talking about like the cancel culture but obviously do uh, in that uh, i've shown tweets and we covered the news back then like a couple of months ago when the trailer first came out there have been some journalists that dead ass want the game to be canceled they're like hey man the kids should not play and we agree bro like kid, this game is not for the kids uh, there's a reason why it's uh being made for why they have a rating of 18 or i should say 17 plus right they, they have rated maturely okay if this game was being targeted to 12 year old kids then i would see your point but yeah black mantis there are a lot of people that but those are probably like the boomers those are not gamers right the gamers they love the game right they, they they're hyped for this game they're waiting for this game 
we all waiting for the game. The non-gamers, they are the ones that are probably disliking the videos, let's be real. And from what we've seen in the leaked footage as well, there will be specific tools that players can acquire that might make things easier, like for example, a lockpick to open vehicles or cutters to get access to various buildings or things that you can rob and whatnot. That ultimately makes sense. Now, a little bit of disappointing news, the fact that there's currently no plans for future single player expansions. Yeah. I would love more story mode DLCs like what Rockstar did in Grand Theft Auto 4's The Battle of Gaytonian, The Lost and the Damned. Will he cheat with a massage therapist? Like and subscribe and let's check it out. What up, Marlene? How you doing? I'm a little nervous. You're nervous? Yeah, just a little bit. You ever done something like this before? Honestly, no. Have you thought about doing something? I have, before? definitely in the past. Because, like, why not? You know, you want to, like, yeah. You want to like put your partner to the test, you know, like you just want to like if you do that I mean you're a terrible partner. I get it But it's like maybe go through his phone or her phone, right? Like why like put them to the test like that? Come on, man I see like are you loyal to me or not? Today we're placing Marlene's boyfriend to a loyalty test. It's over. Hey guys, it's been a while. Right now I'm just waiting for this man to get here. Our friends Madeline would be testing Jalen's loyalty by hitting on him and asking him on a date. Well, he's gonna he's gonna fold He's gonna fold. He's gonna fold. 90%. Mostly all of you guys in the chat would fold. Let's be real. You know it! Don't cap! Will he remain loyal or will he entertain Madeline's advances? I feel like in general, I don't trust men, but I don't know. Maybe he'll surprise us. Oh, Madeline is getting up here. I think he's here. Moment of truth. Get it. What, what made you decide to do this? A while back, he gave me a reason kind of not to trust him. Like, I like low-key looked through his phone and I saw something. had a hunch. Yeah, Ooh. literally. My okay, dad was like that. screaming at me like, mm. look at his phone, look at his phone. And I saw some things I didn't really want to see. And, you know, we communicated and talked about it. But deep down inside, I feel like I just need more reassurance. You know, I want to mm. know what is he going to do when another like situation comes up? Like, are you going to fold? Uh, he's going to fold. He's gonna, yeah, buckle up, man. Fasten your seat belts. Uh, I'm not into a relationship, but can she test me? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. She can test me all day, every day. But listen, man, if he fails, I'm assuming like he's gonna fail. Because it's a YouTube video, right? Drama. He's gonna fail. That sucker is gonna fail. Let's be real. He's gonna fail. But if he, if he succeeds, I'll be shocked. But the fact, no, I don't think he's gonna succeed. But come on, man. Like, nowadays, they do not make men and women like loyal women or loyal men no more right like it's crazy out here living life in the six bro like i would personally never cheat on my my partner and i i would never not nah, honestly jokes aside though i would not i'm not that that type but it's like holy crap bro 90 percent of people will fold yeah. well, they're not and... what better way to test them than this right exactly <laughs> i'm kind of nervous but you know i hope i have hope yeah it's him I, I think in california everybody would fold if you're if you're in california no offense uh okay if you're in california and you're watching the stream you are good okay you're good minus you okay you're an exception Bruh. but everybody else that lives in california that's not watching the stream easily gonna fold i He's don't here. trust them hey jalen madeline hi nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. oh right. that? you're not supposed to be checking him out <laughs> How was the drive? Were you able to find it okay? This loyalty test will be taking place at this beautiful home in Hollywood Hills. Jalen is under the impression that Madeline lives here. Oh my god. He's here. It's getting real, huh? It's getting real, yep. Just get ready to listen in on here. What? So you're gonna call him in? In like a like a nice uh, like a mansion looking uh, area? Bruh. He's gonna say yes, obviously, though. Alrighty, Masu He's gonna fold. Jaylen He's gonna fold. Is here. I repeat, Jalen has arrived. Over. Ready for this? As Ken and Yasmin waited for their cue, they could have been breeding their dragon. What a missed opportunity to not play Dragon City. Dragon uh, City is yeah. a just challenging comedy by Click by the Dragon. To test his loyalty, we first had to convince Jalen to come over. <laughs> Hello. Hi, is this Jalen? Hi, my name is Madeline. I received your phone number from a friend. They said that you shoot music videos. I'm just reaching out to a few videographers to shoot one of my music videos. I have about thirty thousand dollars for budget for each video. Oh shit! Oh shit! Thirty, thirty bands, thirty bands. Oh, he's gonna double fold right now. He's gonna double fold. I don't know if that's something oh, okay. that you can work in, but. Um, I can I no love problem. that. Maybe we can like schedule an in-person meeting. Yeah, that sounds good. Is there anywhere I can listen to your music? The songs that I have that I want to make videos for aren't released yet. If you want to just send me your schedule, we'll lock in a date so we can meet in person. That sounds good, yeah. What's your, your artist name? Madeline Monet. 
Cute, cute little home, you know? Cute. It's just me. Jalen believes that he's here to discuss business with Madeline. He's hoping to film the music videos to her unreleased it's songs. I understand you work with a lot of like females in the entertainment industry yeah. and the men, but like when it comes to the females, you have to... The way he's walking, I can already smell the thirst. I can already see the sweat dripping right now. 30 bands. Artist. And decent looking chick, might as well say. And got a nice place. You got the views. Oh, he's double folding. Like make it business quickly. Right, right, and like right. there's no need to like do all that extra stuff, yeah. you know? Definitely want to utilize this space. There's a lot okay. of different places that we could shoot at. We oh, could yeah. maybe have like some performance shots right here. Maybe okay. me dancing. What kind of equipment do you have? Honestly, I only really have a Canon, but I Bruh. didn't know that I was going to be Bruh. seeing all this. So, but the homie got... The got homie red and you got all the other stuff. Do you Okay, 30 bands and you only got one camera? Okay, he got the red. Uh, those of you that do not know, red is like very, very high quality camera. Do not think of anything else. It's like a very good camera. Um, hopefully that's what he was talking about because when he says that, that's what I'm getting at. But okay, okay. Think he's done things with the 30 girls, bands. Or do you think like he just entertains other girls? I feel like he just entertains it and that's okay. still really disgusting, yeah. you know? Still bad, but yeah. you, don't, you don't think that he's done anything with other girls? I don't even want to like, don't even put my head <laughs> in the gutter like that, but I don't want to think that, but like, you never know. Let me, you let me show know. you around the house a little bit. That way you can kind of get an idea of like what I was- She is not showing the house. She is literally trying to show herself, bro. <laughs> That's what's happening. Uh, Nike, I, I really can, but I'm streaming on Twitch. Uh, so check out Twitch. Like I put it on the stream here. Uh, yeah, check out Twitch guys. I would appreciate if you guys give a follow there as well. We're streaming full screen there as well. Thinking as far as the scenes go, Madeline but right now I can't hear. Uh, sorry, but she takes Jalen through every area of this multi-million dollar Hollywood home that they could use for her quote-unquote music video. There's the pool. I think we could get some really hot shots in the pool. None of this was important though. Madeline was just making Jalen believe that she really wanted a music video for one of her songs. <laughs> I mean, now that you've seen what we're working with, maybe we can just discuss a little bit, like shot list, maybe concepts. There's just so much ground to cover, I, and I feel like I'll. Always do this with new people. I Yo, his chick is fine though. Why would you? Uh, honestly though, like, yeah, jokes aside though, th this is absolutely like terrible, man. Like, if you're in a relationship and you don't have the same feelings, uh, just leave. You know what I mean? Just be upfront. Tell your partner that hey, man, you're gonna cheat. And when you say that, you're like not cheating in a way because you're telling your partner you're breaking up and going for the next one. Nothing wrong with that. If you feel like that, that's not your soulmate. That's not your soulmate, right? Like, if you're not made for each other, you're not made for each other, right? You go with somebody else. Uh, but it's like, I, I don't understand. Like, there obviously, there are a lot of chicks that want to try, like, different flavors, like the BBCs, the BWCs, the LBCs, and the, the BLCs. And there's, like, a whole lot of Bruh. flavors out there. The chicks be out there catching new Pokemons every single day. There's that. And now we got a brother out here. <sighs> Come on, man. You're putting a brother on the test like that. You're putting brother on a spot like that. So, what are we watching? I just joined. Yeah, we checking out, like, uh, if this guy will cheat with a massage therapist or not. Work with. That's what we're checking yeah. out. Just to try to get to a feel of what their vision is, what they like, style. Yeah, I get what you're saying. We're going to give them probably, like, 10, 15 more minutes here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to cue in Ken to make his entrance. Have you ever actually oh, massaged anyone before? Yeah, oh, all the time. Ken and Yasmin Yo, are good kid, natural. Appreciate massage you. therapist or masseuse. Yo, good kid, thank you for coming on the Twitch stream. Yo, Matt, na natural, I see you following on Twitch. Appreciate it, guys. Love y'all, man. Let me send you some kishish. Because, like, if this works out, I'm going to be streaming a lot more. Because normally I'm just a content creator. I just make videos. But I want to be streaming a lot more, too. I feel like the stream is just, like, a way for us to connect, check out what's happening in the, in the world, uh, laugh a little, and uh, and not be like these suckers out here, okay? Not talking about Sergio. I think Sergio is good. Love the videos. But it's like, holy crap, man. And this is happening in California, bro. I don't trust California. If, you're from, if you are from California, let me know in the chat. I trust you though. If you're if you're from California watching this stream, I trust you though. You're an exception, Bruh. okay? But everybody else that's not watching the stream and it's in California, I don't trust it though. This is whatever you call them. More on their roles later, but just know this was Madeline's idea. She wanted to make this video extra juicy for you guys. So I have a few songs already that I think we could go with, All but right. no, you mentioned that you had a, a Latin project that was already out. Mm -hmm. I feel like like we was talking about like. Miami vibe, Miami vibe mm -hmm. with the pool. That's really popping right now. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good direction. The way he's talking and he's being that gentle, he's folding already. 
like listen man i know how a mind of a man works all right Bruh. like you would never talk like this bro you would be like like that all aggressive not not necessarily aggressive but you would talk like you're a man but he's talking like a feminine dude right now and the reason is He's not feminine. I'm not accusing him of him being a feminine man. It's just that whenever you're around a chick, you you are kind of smooth, right? Like you're kind of easy. This is how he, you're trying to rizz up a baddie. This is how you rizz up a baddie, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Ohio, Ohio. You say I don't know about that one though. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's already folding. He's catching feelings. He's catching feelings. Okay. I guess it just depends on the genre that you want to stay in. Because I'm Which doing link? like, I have I an you, R&B five song okay. project. Right. Straight, I, I see you, bro. my Spanish five song project. And then... Uh, not sure about tonight, good kid, but I have plan. In the future, I'll be playing games. Uh, you thank you for subscribing, Race Pro, Ali, and Straight, I see you on Twitch. Good kid, I see you too on Twitch. I'm gonna do an electronic slash dance slash okay. house. Alright. I don't want to pull myself to like one genre. He seems pretty chill. Yeah. <laughs> if he ends up passing the test... Oh my god. Would you tell him that you put into the test? Yeah. yeah. I'm you like, babe, I there love you. Go, you. I'm, happy? So, I'm even more Link obsessed with you now <laughs> that you like literally did this. Like now I know you're 100% loyal. Like, How do you think he would take it? He better not be mad because it's like you already put me through some <laughs> Like I have to yeah. see what's up. This is the song. It's I have to see what's evil. up. Okay. Or they will start narrowing down on which one of Madeline's songs they should have filmed this music video to. Okay. This song is like, this is like my bad girl anthem. I know you can't understand it, but she plays him a couple Linux. He does not need to understand. That's not why he's here. Bruh. There's like a psychological warfare going on in his mind right now. He's thinking about completely something else. You talked about 30 bands. He said it, but I only got one camera though. Bruh. Like how how you go walk in with one camera, bruh? 30 bands? And you just gonna say you got one camera? I mean, just make it up. Just say you got like five cameras and, you know, take the money and buy some cameras from Best Buy or something, right? Film the music video and then return those cameras, right? Easy money right there, bro. And yeah, you look professional as well. Explains her vision for a video for each. I can't play her music on this video, but you guys should definitely go check it out. Screenshot her links or click on them in the description oh, below. Alrighty, Masseuse number one. Make your you want a pin? How you doing, bro? Starship Rover one. Pimp it, pimp it. Yo, Rover. what's up, Happy? How you doing? Starship Welcome Rover on one. We'd given Madeline plenty of time to sell the scenario. It was now time to move on to the next step of our plan. It's already been released. Um, it's not released. It'll be out in a few weeks. Oh, hello. Hey, Hi. Madeline. Yes, Ken, come in. Okay. All right, here we go. Time Ow. to blow his mind. So oh, sorry. it's going down. We were, we were discussing some music stuff. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? We're here. This is Jalen. This is my massage therapist. Sorry. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my God, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> is Yasmin coming still? So he's the massage therapist? Oh shit, oh shit. Oh my God, bro. Holy crap. Yo, hi gaming, what's up, man? I forgot that I already follow you on Twitch. Yo, I appreciate you. Now I saw your comment on Twitch on the other monitor there. I didn't know you watch. Yeah, bro, like, uh, I love his content too. It's uh, entertaining drama and crap like that. I, I don't love what's happening, but it's like, it's drama, right? I love the content, but not truly what's happening it's for for real, but kind of love it on the YouTubes, but not in real life, if that makes sense, right? We don't want any of this happening to <laughs> any of us or any loved ones, man. I don't wish any any of you all, like, having a partner that cheats on you, man. That's, like, that's just sad, you know? If you if you have a partner or if you're somebody that's going to cheat on your partner, instead of cheating, just let them know. You feel what I'm saying? Let them know that you're not... Yeah, it's gonna be like depre de depress depressive, if that's the word, but it's always just better to cut ties. Uh, if you don't feel your partner, you don't feel your partner. Simple as that. You know what? She was a little bit behind me. I can send her a text. Okay, yeah. yeah I appreciate know, you, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank he's you. supposed to be getting a massage too. Yeah, so she's, uh, she'll be here soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay. wanna make sure she's gonna come. You can just go get set up if you like. Same place? Yeah, same place. Thank okay. you. I'll see you there. Thank you. Now Madeline just has to convince him to get a massage. <laughs> Sorry, I totally forgot to tell you that I booked us massages. You booked me a massage? I did. Well, because they are booked out like months in advance, it's literally impossible for me to reschedule my massage with them. And so Yasmin is on her way. Okay, okay, so this... Okay, it's not the main chick. No, this is not the main chick. So who she is? Who she is, bro? Bruh. Yo, mama, can, can I probably get like an number or something? Like, <laughs> okay, I gotta stop with that. But, but, bro, like, what the hell? Okay, who is the main chick? Okay, the main chick is with Sergio, okay? Listening to that. And she, Madeline, she's like the artist. Uh, she's trying to, like, bait him. Uh, she's like the succubus, right? Uh, and, 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 and they got, they are trying to have a massage therapist as well. They're trying to give brother a massage. Come on, man. What's happening, bro? Yo, Basil, what's good, man? Yo, what's good, Habibi? I'm in Riyadh now. 
Done with Lahore. Yo, uh, yo, share your experience with Riyadh uh, uh, with me, all right? Whenever you come back, okay? Okay, she'll be here shortly, and you also. I'm doing great, massage. man. What about so you, don't brother? Worry, you're not gonna sit here for 90 minutes. Nice to see you traveling, man. One day I would be traveling the world as well, man. But not right now. I cannot right now. I cannot even afford a pencil out here, dog. I'm joking. I mean, very, very blessed to be in a position that I'm in. Uh, always grateful. You know what I mean? Uh, but I uh, appreciate you, man. What's good, man? <laughs> By yourself. Honestly, I mean. We can reschedule this another time. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. but I already, I already booked you a massage. She, she should be here shortly. Okay. Okay, so now he's getting a massage by uh, by a dude, and he's like, oh, well, uh, you know, uh, next time. Okay, so he's uh, definitely not gay, uh, and he's uh, not, he don't want a massage by a dude, and uh, come on, man, like, it sounds weird, right? Like, you're here to shoot a music video, and they're telling you that, okay, with a music video, we got these perks, right? We're gonna give you 30 bands, okay? I mean, brother loves that money, though, okay? Yeah, brother loves money. You got that bread, you got that dough, beautiful, okay? We love it, okay? Okay, then you get to talk with a uh, talk with a beautiful chick. We love it too. Let's be real. You know, it warms over hearts. But then it's like a dude comes in and you get a massage by him. I mean, like, bruh. bruh. Like, what are we talking about here? Um, it's the more halal version of Dubai lol, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I'm so confused. I'm sorry. I know. I apologize. It's a little weird. It's a little random. It is, it is random. I'm sorry. It is random. Dude, been here for four days and I'm gonna move here, lol. Yo, if you do, uh, definitely, uh, I'll, we can chat up whenever. Like, if you decide to do it, we can chat up, like, some uh, some other time. And, uh, I would love to know your experience, because uh, I'm in Canada, and, man, I, like, let's be real. I've been thinking about moving from Canada. For, the way I see it is that probably not gonna be able to for, for the near future, but I want to, to be honest. I just, I yeah, just, you yeah. know, thought it would be impolite if I didn't get you one too, because I kind of double booked like this meeting and the massage. It's, that's my apologies. Yasmin's great. You'll, you'll like her a lot, and she's gorgeous. So, I know it's weird, but I mean, she's already, she's already almost here. I don't want to send her home. You know, it's like, please, I, please, I insist, I insist. Okay, masseuse number two, you are going to make your entrance. Over. Do you not like massages? I do, but again, this is odd. Trust me, this massage is gonna be the best one you ever had in your life. <laughs> I, I think later on they're gonna switch that massage guy with uh, with a girl. That's why, cause uh, like I, I see, I'm 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 smelling what's coming here. I, I feel like that they're gonna replace. Uh, can you stop saying the word uh, retweet? It's so uh, bro, like I never even said the word. Like what? These are accusations, God kid. These are accusations, bro. I didn't say it during the stream. I never said till you brought it up. And I don't even use that word. I say retweet. All, all jokes, brother. Like, I would never make fun of a person that's, like, on a on for real, like, uh, disabled. Uh, I would never, though. So, uh, if you are, uh, my bad, brother. My bad. It's all love, man. Come here, brother. Let me send you some. Let me send you some kush uh, kishi jow here, bro. I can't believe you I mean, I'm not going to massage you. Yasmin's going to massage you. I mean, I, I feel that... Maybe I'm saying this wrong, but like, I thought we was gonna do a music video. I know, this is kind of weird. I figured you're gonna be here while I was gonna get a massage. They had an opening, I just went ahead and booked you one. I'm gonna get 90 minutes. We can just kind of like brainstorm separately and we'll continue working after the massage. How does that sound? You, know, you seem stressed, you might need the massage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does he not want a massage? Free massage. <laughs> yeah, it's over, man. Oh, no, 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 this was just because it fell on this day at this time. This this is not her most thought out scenario, but Jalen can't really turn down Madeline's offer. Think about it. Madeline is about to pay him 30 grand for her music video. If he yeah. says no, Madeline can easily gaslight him. Why not just say yes to the massage instead of coming off as rude and potentially blowing your chance at 30 G's? I was just trying yeah. to take care of you, you know? I mean, He's not gonna say no. Look, I, listen, I understand, but at the end of the day, it's just a massage. <laughs> I know. I mean, have to be uh, sissy, do not spoil, bro. You could do like six. But I minutes. can see that coming. Thirty minutes, whatever you want. I mean, right. <laughs> you act like you're like about to be tortured or something. Else. Oh, here she. Hey, hi. Come on. Oh, so they got a love triangle happening right now. Oh no. So they are gonna be adding like another chick. So that's not the main chick, right? So got this chick. You got this chick. Brother is definitely gonna fold. Like, I, I mean, I can already tell. I mean, it's a video on the YouTube. Like, what do you guys expect? Like, 99% <laughs> of the time, the outcome will be train going boom. And that means brother's gonna get caught. Like, they're putting a brother on the spot like that, man. Obviously not saying, like, he should or 
like, listen, man, you should not be in this position, okay? Free massages, okay, take a massage, but then, but then, dog, it's time to leave, bro, but I think he's gonna get caught in the feelings, I guess. Morning, girl. Hey guys. How are you? Thank you so much for I'm coming good. on short notice. I'm so sorry I'm late. No, no, you're fine. You're in good Yeah, this hands. is a main shake. <laughs> I'm gonna She's go meet with Canova. You guys can set up okay. in that room. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Enjoy, please. You enjoy, too. Thank you. All right, you ready? You want to come over here? Yeah, appreciate the 40 <laughs> likes on the stream. Thank He's you, guys, man. He's driven now. He's like, what the f did I come to? I thought we were talking about a music video. Now I'm getting a damn massage. It's like, <laughs> He's hella clueless, but he's going with the flow, and that I don't like that. He's not taking initiative or like okay so far it's like i don't blame the guy because like listen he's there to work and shoot a music video and she's giving him like what 30 bands 30 grand like honestly like he would not turn it down right and then she's like okay we'll give you a massage on the side he don't want it clearly he's saying no but he's he cannot refuse it because if he refuses you know the deal could be done there so so far i don't blame the guy but i feel like that he's gonna be caught with the feelings all right like he's uh, he's already catching feelings like uh, uh, the way he's talking i all uh, i i feel it authority he's just like no. all right so uh, so answer my question if your girl did this to you would you cheat no I would cut ties with her permanently uh, but I, but that and I would find like a new uh, new waifu so yeah a waifu I mean not a not a girl to play around with you know what I mean I'm not that type of guy uh, I'm a one uh, one girl type of guy but uh, yeah if I find out my if my girl is cheating I'm not gonna like take revenge on her because like that's like me devaluing myself you feel what i'm saying i know everybody's different but that's my that's me though i'm not gonna like cheat on her uh i'll just cut ties and find a new baddie you know what i'm saying get you changed i'm gonna give you a towel you can um wrap this around your waist right. just get out of your clothes yeah there you go <laughs> she was a little tough cookie to crack i was like wait why are you being weird He's about getting <laughs> no i know i thought it would be so much i thought it was a good too. i thought it was good that he was doing that that he was being hesitant no i don't know I think one of the reasons Jalen was being hesitant was because it sounded like he had other things to do, but was too scared to say so. Does it have to be 90 minutes though? Like, can, can you could do like 60 minutes. I can do 60 minutes. What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, 60 minutes? Yo, like, it should. What? Dog, it should be like uh, five minutes uh, and that's it. Why? Okay, y'all are just gaslighting the brother. Y'all trying to catch him with his <laughs> with his pants down man y'all are he's yeah he's gonna so fail he's gonna so fail bro it's like 30 bands you got two nice looking chicks out there nice looking place out here you're gonna give him a massage as well <sighs> like brother is gonna fall though 100%. I feel like he only plans on being here for an hour or two, but now he's going to stay significantly longer, which of course is going to throw off the rest of his schedule. I don't know. Yeah. That's my speculation. Is it? Do you what want are you guys thinking? Anything? You're going to probably warm up in a second. Additionally, I don't think it was wrong for him to agree to get the massage. I know Marlene may feel otherwise, but to me, it's quite literally just a massage. At least until we get to the juicy stuff that Marlene oh. planned. So your fate's going to be right here in the headrest. Get yourself comfortable. You can put um, your arms back. There you go. So what are we working on today? Anything specific? Madeline, after the- Okay, so they said like a dude would give a massage though. You know what I mean? I thought, yeah, an hour exactly, right? Like an hour is insane. Guys, if you're just coming on, we did talk about Call of Duty and the PS5 Pro gameplay leaks right in the beginning of the stream so you can rewind it or keep watching. But uh, here's the thing though, like uh, an hour is insane. But he did it, didn't she say like a dude will give him a massage and then he went to decline and now it's like a chick? I mean, I felt like a chick would give him like this because they want him to <laughs> to fail. They want him to fail, right? Sergio is laughing because that's something he knows like he want to upload this on YouTube, you know, and he already did so. Massage is done. We're going to need you to walk back in there pretending as if he just got a massage. So here is your robe. Don't change into it just yet, but you'll change into it when we send you back in, okay? So I'm gonna grab yeah, the massage gun. We're gonna start with that. These are really good for cramps and soreness, any of that. So we're gonna start. Let me know if it hurts you. Isn't a massage gun kind of like cheating? Is she an actual massage therapist? Does she look like a massage therapist? She, she does. She's not. She's not a real massage therapist. Yeah. But as long as she looks legit. Does it feel legit? That's really what matters. Madeline's right, but this is all part of the plan. It's we want Yasmin to come off as an amateur masseuse, hence the massage gun. It's a good warm-up. I'm trying to 
loosen your muscles before we start with the hands. Nah, bro, you're not trying to loosen his muscle. You're trying to loosen a brother right now, bro. <laughs> brother about to fall right now. You're trying to loosen his mind. You're trying to make him feel like, hey, hey, hey. He's, uh, he's like high right now. He's feeling on top of the world right now. In his mind, he's like, Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. You know, that's how he's feeling. He's feeling on top of the world. He's firing dopamine, endorphins on flowing, right? He's like swimming right now. You feel what I'm saying? He's going fast. He's going like 100 miles per hour right now. Rest. Uh, yeah, RIP to that brother. Absolutely easy. It's over. It's over. You know? <laughs> You're Usually the guys for the almost hold. Okay, good. <laughs> what the f in 45 minutes, Madeline will enter the room and learn just how amateur of a job Jasmine did. She will apologize and offer to make things right by massaging him herself. Mama Monet got it. Jalen's brain will release endorphins, cortisol oh, and adrenaline shit. will decrease in his body. And when he reaches that state of euphoria and bliss, Madeline will be free to make her move. Oh, For now no. though, all Jalen has to do is relax and try to enjoy his current massage. All right, time to switch over. Yeah, switch over, huh? <laughs> I'm so glad you're feeling relaxed. We're gonna start with the hands. Are you ready? Yasmin begins her amateur massage, which consisted of just rubbing her hands across Jalen's back with no pressure. Does this feel good? Oh man, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro, that no, is over. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. Why are you laughing? We shouldn't be laughing. Okay. Hey, this is up. This is not a joke. Guys. Okay, everyone. Shh. You guys Bro, like, come on, how are you going to say it? Come on, bro. How are you going to say it's not funny when you laugh all the time? This is the only time you're not laughing, but... <laughs> come on, Sergio. Come on, what you doing, Sergio? Uh, his name is Sergio. I, I love the guy, man. I love the channel. Uh, I've been following this guy for, like, years, bro. Like... Are very insensitive. Try Jack P, please. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Probably um, not on the stream, but for next I stream. Say I appreciate close it. Close to eight years. Because I got videos lined up, you know? Yeah, um, I appreciate it was the recommendation. Therapy okay. school. Yeah, it was pretty pretty fun. I don't know if Jalen could tell the massage wasn't the best or if he was just trying to be nice, but he and Yasmin began unexpectedly having a conversation. What do you do for work? We shoot music videos and everything like that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. It does explain the muscles. <laughs> this is why this is why I say ladies, sometimes it's okay to find you a man that doesn't have that many muscles. You feel what I'm saying? Bruh. <laughs> I'm not saying like find a guy that's like not masculine, but I'm just saying that sometimes short dudes can be very good hubbies though. Sometimes, like, nerds can be very good hobbies, though. I'm not describing myself. I'm kind of describing myself. But but you feel what I'm saying. Like, sometimes you guys, you just gotta give a chance, man. You gotta give a chance to the, the dudes. Uh, not, like, six feet tall with BBCs and muscles. Because uh, otherwise, this is gonna happen to you, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, try Jack Blue, uh, you're going to like this channel. I got you, Hike. I got you. I'll check it out. Probably I said not earlier, today, but Yasmin's next massage stream, okay? was simply meant to be a tool to get us to the next step of our plan. However, it slowly began evolving into something else. Yo, Chris, appreciate it, brother. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. You need to keep me company. No, just for you. Uh, I'm just trying my best to stay awake. Rather than just letting Jalen relax, Yasmin chose to continue indulging in a conversation with him. Brother, but um, I fall asleep. It's usually a hundred an hour. <laughs> well, you ain't paying for this, so you're good. Don't yeah. worry. Man, I almost jumped out of my chair right there. <laughs> you know, it just it just makes sense with the. I cannot even afford a pencil out here, and you talking about like a massage. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I never really got a massage before. How many of you guys got one in the comments? If you got a massage in your life, two if you never got it. I want to know how many of you guys actually uh, experienced this. Uh, like thrilling experience uh rather clients that i have you did gamer um, easy honestly, did not it's usually middle-aged guys holy crap interesting hmm. maybe it's because i don't get any massages but it's having a conversation okay heather you did it as well oh shit. ram you did it turkish my shot uh turkish uh turkish uh, massages Holy crap, okay, you guys are, okay, I never did actually, I mean, cannot even afford a pencil out here and you guys talking about me trying like a, uh, like a massage therapist, come on guys. Conversation during one normal? I always thought people just lay there and relax and say nothing. Oh man. <laughs> this is good. It was amazing. 
you ever get any weirdos in here? <laughs> I do. I do get some weirdos, not gonna lie. They can get a little touchy, a little... Just like, they would just say weird stuff sometimes, but, you know, I think that that is just what it is. I can't really control the people that I get as clients, you know? Do you get special service? Or... What was that? Is, uh... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What did he say? Do you speak Spanish? What words do you know in Spanish? And what, uh, no, I don't speak Spanish. I just know like a little bit, like, how are you doing? Like, uh, hola, como estas, amigo? Si. That's it, bro. That's it. Okay, this was extremely weird. <laughs> special services, what do you mean? That's, that's what they call it, right? <laughs> you know, little flavors here and stuff, no? Uh little flavors here and there? Special services. It's so over. But let's be real, most of you guys would fold. Like, most of you guys would fold. Like, I'm just gonna call it, I'm sorry, most of you guys would fold, like... Uh oh um... You're, you're talking about <laughs> right? Yeah, that's the key word. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, I definitely have had that happen in the past, but I personally haven't done it. Amen to that. Amen to that. <laughs> okay, why would you say you have not done it? Like, you guys trying to catch the guy, right? So you say yes and see if he proceeds, because either way, you guys are not gonna do it, right? Like, it's. And when he said, when he accepts the offer, that's when you go in and you bust the guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> this was such an odd thing to bring up so nonchalantly, but this bro? was the only time it ever came up and nothing ever happened from it. I'm gonna be real here. We should have just made her the decoy. Like, not not that it's not not trying to throw you under the bus or nothing like that, Madeline, but like... I don't know, like, am I... He's leaning towards something else. I feel like he's having too much conversation. I feel like he's already flirting with her. He's like really into her. You feel like, like he's into her? Yeah, I feel like he's really into her. Should we nah, he's not into her. He's just uh, going with the flow, you know what I mean. You guys are putting him on the spot right now. You're like giving him like the paradise right now. Like two beautiful chicks, a uh, good uh, place as well. Free massage, 30 grand. Like brother is like, holy smoke is like, what are we talking about? Brother is just feeling on top of the world. So of course, of course. But that's not, a, that's not an excuse. Uh, that's not an excuse. Like nobody should cheat. I guess brother got tested and next time he will he will uh, he will not put his guard down. I think he put his guard down, guys. We just make it like where she asks him out? Yeah, it, let's do that. What do you think of that? Yeah, let's do that? that. Let's do that. We could end this test a lot sooner than expected. We would have to sideline Madeline though, which means that you guys won't be able to see the juicy stuff that she had planned. But heck, this test is already juicy enough. What if she tries to get him to have a What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, like, I want to see what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, okay, just, I want to see. <laughs> we definitely can't take this video that Amber says that I got cheated on a year ago, but the guy was in another state. We were together for six years, but I met him when he came to San Antonio, Texas. He and I had an issues with his father, so I left. Damn. Uh, sorry to hear that, Amber. Uh, yeah, long distance. Uh, I mean, still, that's not like long distance, but still kind of is. Or let's just call it short distance. Doesn't work too often. Far. To avoid YouTube restricting it, we're gonna stick to Yasmin keeping things PG. Or at least, that's the goal. All right, I'm all done. You can keep laying down for five minutes, okay? Just let your muscles relax. I'm gonna go use the restroom, okay. but I'll be right back and I'll wipe off any excess oil that you have, okay? Right. As originally and planned. In his mind, he will be thinking something else right now. Like, I can tell, bro. Yasmin like finishes her massage and heads to us. We're kind of getting the sense that he's into you. I don't know if you got that sense or not. Yeah. We feel like he's making quite a bit of small talk. To be fair, I was trying to like compliment him, but yeah. I feel like if he didn't want anything or if he wasn't interested, he wouldn't compliment me back. And he yeah. did say it like a couple times. Yeah. Here's what we're thinking. Rather than sticking with the original plan and having Madeline go in there right now, mm -hmm. what if you and Madeline swapped places and you'd be the new decoy? Okay. I feel like he's already into it and to you, so I think like we should just go. I as long as you're okay with it, because I just don't want to hurt you. I totally like relate to your situation, so if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Whatever you want. Yeah, let's do it. Are you comfortable yeah. going in there and like yeah, being decoy and stuff? Yeah. You good? I'm good. Okay. And so with that, the moment of truth had arrived. We prepped Yasmin for a couple of minutes before sending her back in to make her move. Talk about a change of plans. I wouldn't have swapped you out, Madeline. You're the number one decoy. Hey, at least I don't have to wear them. Hey. Oh, are you asleep? Yeah, I was, I was about to go to sleep. <laughs> That's good, yeah. that means you're relaxed. I wish he fell asleep, to be honest. You know what I mean? 
sometimes it's just better to fall asleep than keep on going. But brother was like, okay, now I gotta stay awake, man. I gotta stay awake. And he stayed awake for a little too long, guys. So, um, I went to check on them because just to see where they were at. And they yeah. said they were gonna take 15 to 20 minutes still. So, yeah, so, you know, we have some time to kill. So, um, yeah, you're feeling good? Yeah, okay. see what I was saying earlier, guys? Bumbaka! He must be, f like, listen, I'm a man. I know how a mind of a man works, okay? I'm a professional at this, okay, out here, bro. I'm a professional at this, bro. I told you guys, he must be feeling on top of the world. He's feeling like in heaven right now. And he says to himself, like, I'm in heaven right now. Uh, hey, bro, what we watching? We watching, uh, will he cheat with a massage therapist? UDY. Yeah, exactly. Hi, uh, Amber, I appreciate you when I was uh, dating my ex. I just didn't feel like we were meant for each other. I knew, I know we weren't because I was crushing on someone else. So I was responsible and r left the relationship. Okay, W. I mean, that's, that's fair. Elden Ring DLC reveal in 38 minutes. For real? Okay, we might check it so, out then. Um, I was going to ask you, like, what we were talking before. I don't know when I'm going to see you again, so... What do you say about us linking up soon? Maybe going on a date or something? Oh, you can you can keep laying down. Oh, Relax, oh, don't, right. don't worry. Okay. I mean, oh, no. If, uh, get your number before we leave. Nah, bro, no! Okay. No! So you find me attractive. Of course I find you. Looks yeah. like you just stepped out of heaven. Well, I nah, let's be real, okay? On a, on a real, any dude says that she's not, they're lying. She is attractive, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, obviously, you do not cross the line. You know, you already, your chick is also hella attractive. So, like, you got your chick. I mean, like, brother, they, there's no reason to cheat. But I also don't blame 100% the brother as well. Because, like, they're prom promising him a new world right now. And brother is uh, not strong enough right now. He's not strong enough. He's not strong enough. Uh, that's uh, what I'll leave at. Okay. I got my phone right here. So I'll put your number in. Okay. And just like that, it was over. Jalen agreed to go out with Yasmin with no hesitation, despite having a girlfriend. We must stay focused, my brothers. We must stay focused. <sighs> Lizard thoughts. I feel like I probably should have asked you this before I gave you my phone. But do you have a girlfriend by any chance? No. no. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, now that's too far, bro. That is too far. That's too far. <laughs> that's too far, bro. That's too far, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's be real. If he sh if he said like I have a girl, uh, you know, like then it's like he's gonna move the conversation in a whole nother direction. But it is over, man. It is so over. I want to see like the plot. Okay, we got the plot, right? I want to see the climax right now. I mean, she got everything. What do you want him to do? When you see pretty woman, it's difficult. I mean, it should not be. It just tells you uh, tells you your character. Because if you're going to fall for every chick... Because let's be real, man. There's always going to be uh, something shiny out there. Someone going to be more prettier than your girl. Some There's going to be always somebody more stronger than you. I'm talking about men, right? If you're a man, there's always going to be a better man than you out there. And there's always going to be a better chick than your chick. It's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. You just got to find your partner... And set, set in for that. If you get good vibes, and uh, if both of you are compatible, I would say that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's a match right there. But other than that, I mean, there's always gonna be someone better, guys. It's never gonna stop. Now, I, listen, man. You can get distracted. You can be caught off guard. You can catch feelings. But ultimately, though, you don't want to be committing the haram at the end, right? You don't want to be. <laughs> you don't want to be like uh, putting your BBC or BWC in another uh, pom pom out there. Let's just say. No. So uh, nobody you're seeing. No crazy exes. Just wanna make sure. No. Well. I feel f***ing nauseous now. Honestly, it's over. I time for all that. I'll be so busy. I mean, doing work and everything, so... <laughs> That's kind of a red flag there. a red flag. <laughs> you don't have time? You're not gonna have time for me? I can clear my schedule with someone like you. Oh, okay. dog, he's gonna free his schedule right now. I'm free. Whenever you say, I'm, I'm down. Alright, it's a wrap. Spoken like a true virgin schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, brother got two knees, a pom pom and money. I get it, but sometimes it's like good to control your urges, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm a good, I'm a good Muslim, man. I'm, a, I'm trying to be. I'm not actually, but I'm, I'm trying to be a good, good guy. I'm just trying to be a good man, bro. Like, uh, 
like it's not a, even a religious thing for me it's more of like hey i just want to have a one girl uh, one baddie because like i'm working at like i'm a busy guy right like i'm working on youtube shit like i i got two channels and uh planning to start another one right now and also outside of youtube i also got different work so i don't have hours in the day to be quite frank with you right so this is why i just want to have one chick right like i'm a minimalist guy i I'm just like, I be who I be, okay? That's uh, basically <laughs> what it goes down to, man. Eh? That's a wrap. That's a wrap, I'm done. That's a I'm wrap. Like, I'm done. Hello, this is a real nice place in downtown LA. Ooh. Yeah, you can, keep, you can keep playing now. Oh, he oh, already planning so his future. I'm really done right now, like, I just want to go in there already. You want to go, I'm no point in continuing the task. No, there's no, no I'm done, like, I'm done. Like, That's if it. he's talking to her like this, like, I don't, there's, no, there's yeah. nothing else left to, I'm done. I don't want to see anything else. Okay. Damn. Okay. Just let us double check the cameras and everything. That we're good. <laughs> I don't know. We gotta see if you're gonna treat me well. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see about that. And so with that, Marlene decides to end this test. Jillian had approved. He he said that he will treat all women like he treats all women like queen till he finds the next one. Then the new one becomes my world. <laughs> You know, say so yeah, alhamdulillah. Ask uh, is like a good guy. I try to be, man. Like nobody's perfect, uh, but cheating is unacceptable, even a one night stand. Like even like, listen, man. The the time you insert your BWC or BBC, <laughs> it's over, bro. Like you, no, but but I understand. We all get distracted. Listen, man. We all got distracted. Okay, we all got problems. We all get distracted. There's always somebody good looking out there. Okay, it's okay to have a crush, I guess, right? But if you are in a relationship, be upfront, right? Like, you don't want to be committing har the haram out there with somebody else. But if you have a crush, I mean, you know, you cannot stop the thoughts, right? I understand that. You cannot stop, but it's about the resistance and controlling your urges. It's all about that. But some people are like a multiple uh, uh, woman type of guy. And I mean, they are who they are. I mean, I'm not judging them. It's just that for me personally, I'm a one chick kind of guy. Uh... Uh, and cheating is unacceptable. For example, if I caught my girl cheating, bro, it's it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. No second chances in that. No, because I'm trying to have a, I'm trying to have a chick. Uh, I'm trying to have a proud mother of my my kids. You know, that's my mindset. I want to have a soccer team. I want to build my own football Bruh. team. <laughs> I want to build build my own like a little like skizzle gang. You know what I'm saying? Like how Logan got low gang. You know Bruh. what I'm saying? I want to have like a skizzle gang, you know, on the side, like, uh, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe 12 kids, some, no, nah, I'm just uh, exaggerating, but joking around, but, but you get the feeling, right? You get what I'm saying? Uh, bro, you're not a virgin for saying to be good to your chick, but, uh, to think these, uh, circuit business can be better than a genuine relationship is naive and 90% of the chicks are fake. I, I absolutely agree, Ron. I do not disagree uh, with you. You probably didn't didn't see all my conversation on this topic before, so I don't. Uh, that's perfectly fine. I do not absolutely. D listen, man. I don't wanna date a chick in the West. I don't. I I don't. I wanna find a partner that speaks my language, that's that has the same religious as me. Uh, it's not the, that's that's my preference. Not like racial or anything like that. I love all people, man. But. The reason for that is I just want to narrow it. I want to just find like a partner in my own like lane. So we kind of have like, you know, same kind of, uh, what's the word? Like same kind of like, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? You feel what I'm saying? Like, what's the word? Okay, I'm forgetting it, but you get, you, you catch the feeling, right? I want to find the partner that's in the same lane as me. And definitely not like a Western chick, though. 100% not a Western chick. That's because the, the reason here is this. The reason... I got a story of my own. I got a homie, okay? Lives just 30 seconds away from me. He, he's like, I can go outside, run to him, and I'm there at his crib, okay? He's living right there, okay? And he, like, went out with, like, a Quebecois. We are in Quebec, so he went with a, out with a white chick. Not, like, saying all white chicks are like that. There are a lot of beautiful and kind-hearted souls out there, okay? But, 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 like, more often than not, in the West, it's like that. I mean, who do you trust? So, he was dating that chick. He did everything. My, my dude is a brilliant guy, bro. Like, uh, I love that dude, okay? He's my brother. I consider him my brother, okay? So, I, I, at first hand, I experienced this. He tried to give everything to that chick. And what she does... Cheats on my boy with a BBC though. Bruh. With a BBC. There it is. She was like, nah, bro, I'm done with you. The next day, she gets a BBC, posts pictures about it, and my guy, he was broken, bro. He was broken for months. 
months. I saw him like tear up too. So it's like, it always is crazy. You don't see grown men cry, you know? They only cry whenever some shit like that happens. So now nah, he recovered. Black Mantis, he recovered. He recovered. Uh, at least that's what he tells me, but I'm sure like deep down he feels that. But I feel like that over over time you overcome that. Now he's like <laughs> dating other chicks, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. So he's back. He's back. He's back. I, I talked about this uh, like a couple of months ago when that thing first happened to my brother. Uh, but right now he overcame. He overcame. So uh, right now he also got a mindset that he don't want to date another Western chick. He want to go with like Asian or Arab or or Chinese or he was he was talking to me that there's like a Chinese chick that he's like and I'm like okay I mean whatever uh, you know what I'm saying so yeah man Eastern or Arab that's uh, where I'm at right now proven that he was not loyal to her so all that was left to do was to confront him I hope you guys have your talkies for this one because you guys already know this is gonna be good ow, ow, it's going down oh crap she bought a are you enjoying your massage oh. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Why the f are you naked right now? <laughs> what, are you doing? what are you doing here? Bro, what am I doing here? What? I was literally just trying to see what you were gonna do and you failed. You literally failed. Like, why the f are you naked? Like, literally, why the f are you naked? Like, you look hella stupid right now. Why the f are you naked? Okay, yeah, don't give me that. I'm just trying to get, oh get on the side. Brother was definitely bricked up, though. He was definitely bricked up. Uh, come to my wedding next year, Skizzle. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, yeah, shout out to you, man. I hope. Uh, my best wishes to you, brother. My best wishes. Where, where are you at? What city? Obviously, you not gonna be able to, but like, what city are you in, Reno? Uh, and I know you're like just asking, like, in that way. Uh, in a playful way, you don't want me to come, right? You don't want me to come, but uh, but what city are you in? But I wish you the best, man. If GTA 6 has the wildlife exploration, like in RDR2, I will be shocked. Same here, brother. We talked about GTA 6 earlier, dude getting sus. So, we'll be the announcer. Why are you even trying to get a massage to begin with? Business is business. What are you even doing here getting a f massage? You're uh, literally kid, flirting um, with this girl. The sadly, whole won't time be able to. You're flirting with her. Did you or did you not tell her you didn't have a girlfriend? I said I was hypothetical. Did no. you, what the f Hypothetically what? Hypothetically what if I f your friend? Like come on now, like you embarrassed the f out of me. This isn't even the first time you did some weird f like this. Fuck on your phone. We talked about it and here you are like literally folding in person. Like I don't know what you're gonna do next time. I don't even wanna find out. Like get out of my face. I'm just trying to get No f you. You, you are such a f bro. Get the f out of my face. Get out of here. Really? Literally get out of here. You look so stupid. I'm done with you. You embarrassed me. Academy. I wouldn't even do one Get out of here. I asked you if you would do it after I came back for it and you said yes. Yeah, Move yeah. along. It was hypothetical, he said. Holy crap, you Andrew Charlotte, what's good? Uh, oh my god, bro, literally embarrassed. Yeah, he's breaked up right now. Uh, what's, you're confused. Basically, man got caught cheating on his girl. If you're just coming on, that's what happened. You can rewind and see the entire plot, but, because right now you're seeing the climax happen in real time. And bro said it was, hypo was it hypothetical or was it not? Hypothetical. I'm kind of confused too right now. Um, move the f along, cheater. You're a f cheater. Get out of here. Get away from me, bro. Get the f away from me. What are you doing, bro? Okay, literally, she <laughs> she friends on him. She bros on him. She's like, okay, she's the main trick. If you're just coming on, right? For for literally ever for her, the guy was her world. And uh, she's like, get the hell away from me, bro. Oh my god. Oh, back it. Now, understandably, though, understandably, like, he cheated, but like, it sounds kind of hilarious when it's like, she pressing him. She deserved better for real. Yeah, she deserved. She deserved better. Get away from me right now. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even want... I'm done, y'all. I'm done. He's a piece of I'm right. so tired of this Aylin, so this entire thing was a loyalty test. She wanted to find out if you were loyal to her You're or not. You're a cheater. Get out of here. Get out of here. Literally leave. Like, I'm so done with you, bro. I'm so done with you. You should have done that. You should have stuck to business. You're weak. You're weak as weak-minded he says that i'm just trying to shoot um shoot a what like hey yo man he said he was just trying to shoot a music video guys you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but let's be real man no excuse to cheat 110 percent like he is weak i do agree with that but like come on y'all you guys giving him free massages you're 
promising him a new world right now. You're like, we're gonna give you 30 bands. Yeah, if you're just coming on, you need to rewind and see the entire plot, bro. Like, this went deep, though. You know what I mean? They were promising him 30 bands, a new world, this beautiful crib. Nah, they didn't say beautiful crib, but, like, they brought him in this place, right? You feel what I'm saying? 30 bands, like, and free massage as well. Like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. Hey, man. Start your laughing security at security at the mall or something. Like someone's like stealing, like in the changing room. All we had to do now was kick Jalen out. Hopefully he leaves peacefully. But if he doesn't, hopefully Ken has my back this time. We all know what happened last time. I'm sorry that it came out. Oh shit, we got a plot. I gotta check that out then. Chilling? Oh, We're walking out this oh, way. Oh no. It's better to find out now. Yeah. I know it just hurts now, but you're gonna be okay. He was already flirting with girls anyways, but I wanted to believe him, you know? I wanted to give him the benefit of the oh, doubt. Oh, damn. It was your instinct telling you yeah. that something was wrong. I know. It's gonna be better. I, I mean, it's better to find out, like, yeah, I would say the same for a guy or a gal, right? Like, it's better that you found out that your partner was cheating. But holy crap, like, you guys just, like, put him on the spot. 90% of the guys would fail. Like, I, I can promise you that. Especially in California, in California, 99%. If you're in California right now, 99% of your partners, same goes for dudes and girls, okay? They will fold. They will fold. This is why I don't want to date like a chick in the West. When stupid cops arrest FBI agents. You're not giving me a break. You're harassing me at this point. I, I like, like and subscribe. Leave. May I leave now? Appreciate the love, man. Where'd you get this? Uh, let me get my... Federal Bureau of Investigation badge. Like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, so call 911. Call, I need medical attention right now. I love you. Hey, turn around. Let me see your hands. Turn around. Let me see your hands. So you're an undercover agent, like you're an FBI agent that's getting arrested by the the cops. Like what? Bumbo cops. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID. Get on the ground. Oh shit. Get on the ground now. Show your hands. Oh. Show your hands. Don't know. Show me your hands. Down on the ground. Get down, down on the ground now. right now. Imagine being a trained federal agent only to find yourself on the wrong side of the law due to some questionable decisions made by some stupid local cops. Here are five- At this point, like, if you're an FBI agent that trained all your life to becoming an undercover agent and you get found out by a cop, you should just quit being an FBI agent. Bruh. Five real world examples of situations where cops try to mess with FBI agents. Stories that will leave you not only stunned, but also wondering about the state of law enforcement we have today. But first, please hit the like button, as yeah, YouTube like is not a guys. fan of these kind of videos. Now, like and subscribe, guys, appreciate all the love. Can you have a gun in Canada? Now, these are like I showed you, man. This is like a dollar store. Uh, I bought it from Canadian Tire, actually. Let's get started. Kicking Any off Canadian today's episode chat? is this rather hilarious, but sad video of two cops in Rochester, Minnesota, approaching a South Sudanese man claiming he looked like a suspect they have been searching for. Oh, damn. But they were unaware of what fate had in store for them. And Just because he's black, you're gonna assume he's a suspect? Come on, bro. Come on, what the hell, man? What the hell, man? The situation took a sudden 180 when they realized the man was an undercover FBI agent. Let's take a look at how the complete situation unfolded. Oh, shit. You've been your racial first oh, part, am I? Yeah, you're wrong. You're assuming I'm someone that I'm not. No. Get out of my face, man. You guys are harassing me. Yeah, yes, brother are. got his fat yeah, doobie though. He's harassing me. Harassing. Yes, you are. No, no, no. He's harassing me. Why are you harassing me? You're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm free to go. Okay. Us. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? I think you have more. You think? That's an illusion. That's, that's an okay. illusion. You think? Stand up with your hands. I'm not here. For what? I don't have a horse. You're very wrong. Let me get this. Yo, officer, you guys got the wrong guy, man. Like, he's an FBI agent, man. He's in, on the same team as you, bro. Imagine, that's like friendly fire right there. That's friendly fire. It, these niggas be playing Call of Duty right now and shooting their own ho the, on the, their own friends. Like, I used to do that when, back in the days when I would play, like, Call of Duty. Uh, you know, whenever, like, friendly fire was on, I would shoot my own homies. Bruh. So, basically, it's the same thing happening, but in real life. 60% of violent crimes done by 7% of the population. Can't trust these Hellcat drivers. I'm planning to move up to Canada in a couple of years. What should I expect? I mean, Canada is, like, I'm... As somebody who's in Canada, I'm trying to... Kind of planning to leave, you know? So... <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. In certain, I mean, every country has positives and negatives, so there are positives 100%, but it's like, I don't know, man. This straight. So, 
Our two wise cops here think that the guy is a I suspect. I would not recommend Canada. He just happens to not. look like someone who committed a crime. A hunch, you could say. Not to mention the fact that the guy seemed pretty confident that the cops had him wrong and went even a step further, accusing the overzealous cops of racially profiling him. What makes it even more shocking is that these dum-dums also believe that that's enough to detain him. Don't Damn. these guys know anything about the law? Remember, Bro. the law requires cops to have reasonable suspicion that someone has committed a crime. Yeah. And oh look, what do we have here? Must be based on more than a hunch. Just because he's black, it's like, like, yeah, let's arrest, uh, let's arrest the guy. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, and he, he's on the same team as you, bro. What this means is anything these cops did from here on was way beyond legal and was unconstitutional. I don't have any hey, yeah, yeah, Cops in America, 101. No, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. All right, this is the second DTV. time I'm hearing this from the officer. If I am wrong, I am wrong? Think about it. It's one frightening statement that's both unprofessional and dangerous at the same time. Oh, man. If officers start throwing such excuses and logic in situations like these, you yeah, can right, only imagine be. what they would do if the stakes were high. This Holy could crap. easily turn out to be a nightmare for someone, if you ask me. I didn't do nothing. For what? For what? Can you tell me for what? Yeah, he's still trying to like shield him. What if like he was here just relaxing, or what if he was like on a mission, right? He cannot give his position. And you guys, like, really, really trying, bro, to spill the beans. Like, come on, man, let our brother go. Like, there isn't anything remotely that uh, that that actually gives you a vibe that he's like a he's he's not a suspect. He's not. He didn't do anything. Come on, man. Like, he's they're they're gonna arrest the guy just because he's black, bro. Like, for what? I'm, I'm, I'm on the arrest for what? No, no, no. If you got the wrong guy, I'm shooting all of you guys. Let me get your card. Can I get your card? Yep. Can I get your card? Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm not standing up. Listen, uh, I'm damn. not under arrest. I don't have a warrant. I don't have. Beans. They're holding his hands too, though. The cops. The encounter was filmed on a cell phone camera, and we can see how the man repeatedly kept calling them out on their mistake and pointed out that they didn't have a warrant to arrest him. Something these cops should have known you, already. You, but then, things quickly escalated when one of the officers tried to grab him. Oh, they about to hey, fight, hey, though. Hey, hey, they about to hey, 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 officer, listen. No, no, no. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Matter of fact, matter of fact, look at my ID. He got the wrong guy, I'm telling you. Oh, man, okay, right now he's like, yeah, look at my ID, you're gonna find out. But they're gonna arrest him for resisting arrest actually right now Bumbaka. several voices can be heard in the background and it seems like they know the man and are telling the officers that they made a big mistake and they got the wrong guy you guys don't got the wrong guy you guys are stupid that's not you you guys are racial profile thinking i'm somebody hey, take some cuffs off. you guys really had nothing else to go to college for but be a cop and harass me to assume i'm somebody i'm not just see his id dog my ID's in my back pocket. after the arrest thinking it was a run-of-the-mill situation this officer finally decided to follow up on the guy's request to check his ID. Yeah. Hey, watch, hey, watch, funny, how, watch how funny this is. Yeah. Well, does he know? He's in for a shock. Oh, what, does that say? what does that say? Oh! <laughs> wrong guy! Oh. Wrong guy. Wrong guy! Oh my god! Turns out, the yeah. person in cuffs is not just any suspect. No, no, it's an FBI agent. Damn. Right here in the middle of a local law enforcement activity, and these cops are in big trouble. You can only imagine the cop's expression, utter shock. It's not every day you arrest someone and they flash an FBI badge in your face. Just notice how this arrogant cop shifts from constantly establishing direct eye contact with the supposed yeah. suspect to a- B Because he, he got a bigger schlong right now. I mean, like, like a dude definitely, like literally probably has a bigger schlong than them, but I don't mean that literally. I mean, like, he's a big dude. Like, he's a big dude, yeah, physically as well, but what I mean is that FBI is bigger than cops, right? That's what I'm talking Bruh. about. So right now, they cannot even have eye contact with him because, like, he's FBI, you know? He's Secret Service. Like, man, you guys made him blow his cover. What if he was on a mission right now? What if he, what, what if bro was on a mission trying to, like, stop, like, the cartel or he, he, you feel what I'm saying? Like, what if bro had, like, some important stuff here going on? What if he wasn't just relaxing with his fat doobie? What if it was like playing like a you know in a GTA? What if GTA? What if it was GTA role playing to catch somebody and you guys tried to arrest that guy, man? Come Avoiding on! Avoiding any eye contact entirely after inspecting the ID, 
No, get the f off me, dude. Okay. Yeah, he got more authority. 100%. Bro, bro, bro. I need your cards. I need your supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. The agent goes on to reasonably explain the whole situation to the supervisor, who clearly looks uneasy at this point and is desperately looking for the nearest exit. Sir, can you please tell me, are you the supervisor? Mm -hmm. These guys are racing for a they assume I'm someone that I'm not. Yeah. I told them I'm not who they think I am. Yeah. And they said, nope, you are. Wouldge. I'm positive you are. But as soon as the agent demands their IDs, he showed his true colors. I need their cards. I need your card. I need your card. I need, I need, I need your card. No, no. Yes, I request your card. Why is that? Can you give me that one? Bro, that was fucked up. Instead of owning up to his men's mistake, as he should have, Game the over. supervisor chose to defend their actions, giving flimsy reasons for the whole screw up. Yo, DTV, I got you, mother, uh, brother. I appreciate you subscribing. Yes, thank you all for the likes on the stream. I know if you're watching on vertical stream, try to double click. Uh, maybe that's why you're going to be able to like. I think on vertical stream, there's no like button. Uh, but if you are able to like the stream, like the stream, man. And DTV, I'll, I'll have this uploaded later for sure. Get them in, Sarge, will you? But seeing he had no choice but to obey the agent's demand, the IDs came out. First, the supervisor, and then the two geniuses who started this whole fiasco. Is that how you guys work, Johnny? You, you assume someone is someone, and that's it? That's all you guys need? Yeah? Oh, oh my god, what is America game for? Yeah, Guilty America, man. and cocky. It's a hell of a America. dangerous combination, folks. It's cops like these who sully the good name of the entire law enforcement agencies. Yeah. Instead of admitting his fault, which he should have rightfully done, all we see here is a man who doesn't have an ounce of regret. Shame on you, officer. They can, I mean, literally, if he wants to, I guess in America, everybody can get sued for just farting in the wrong direction. According to, like, studies and the internet detectives, that's what I learned so far, that you can get sued for farting in the wrong direction. Bruh. Now, we're talking about the FBI agent out here. He surely can sue them. I, I'm, I suppose. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest, but... He actually threatened them, I guess rightfully so, that's his right, because they tried to arrest him for literally no damn reason other than the skin of his color, right? So yeah, he, he's probably going to press charges, and like these uh, these guys are like really in their feels right now. They're like, we, it's over. We done so. Sounds like the cops needs more training. They need more training. I mean, and also I got to say, like, come on, man. If you're an FBI agent... Come on, man. Try, try to be more... Uh, I, I mean, to be honest, though, he was. He didn't do... From what we're hearing, he didn't try to stir shit up. He was just do minding his own business, like, you know, rolling a fat doobie. And these cops came in bussing, you know? So, I don't blame the, the FBI agent in this one. But then again, what can we expect when you're led they need by more such training. supervisors? I agree. I will make a complaint on all three of you guys. That's fine. Do your job better. So if you want to make a complaint, you can go I will make a complaint. See what I'm talking about? All I can say is that the entire event was nothing but a poor show of unprofessionalism and a lack of A, B, and C's of basic law knowledge. Yeah, bro, literally, AI, yeah, if you're just coming on, you gotta watch the plot. Like, watch it from the beginning. Like, they tried to arrest him just because the skin of his color, though. Like, that's not even me trying to sugarcoat anything. Like, literally, bro, literally. But shown by these foolish cops. As far as silver linings go, at least no one got harmed in this case. Which is more than I can say for this FBI agent here. You run your body cam? I, I am now, because I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special agent Adam. The FBI. Okay. You got that on body cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with your meeting me at the office. Mm. I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office about it. You can cut off the reporting device now. Damn. Okay. Well, I will when I leave the area, sir. You might question why this FBI agent is asking the officer to cut off the recording device. Yeah. Something doesn't add up here. Red flags for the FBI agent, right? Well, yeah. the answer is our special agent Hatton was actually investigating police corruption in the Franklin County Police Department. And as a part of this oh, undercover operation, he asked the officer in the video, Mr. Rolf Gordon, to meet him at a random parking lot, perhaps to ask some questions related to the case. However, the officer didn't like the fact that the agent called his personal phone number instead of taking things through his office and grew skeptical of him despite the agent's disclosure of his credentials. 
Hey, TJ. This I appreciate your DTV. Uh, appreciate you coming on. Thank you for the notification, my brother. Uh, kisses out to you. Let me send you some. Let me send you some good night kisses. Uh, full on homo, by the Bruh. way. Uh, no, no homo. I'm joking around. But holy crap, brother is literally playing GTA Online right now. He's in a GTA Online server, bruh. I didn't know this server existed, guys. This guy is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's going to contact other people to get involved with this. Let me get his tag number real quick. He's got a radio and he's got credentials. Franklin, does that come back to any government agency? It just advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a doesn't wiring company? It's a covert agent, sir. Did he seriously think it would? Of course, it's a covert vehicle. What kind of undercover FBI agent would drive in an FBI registered vehicle? I do feel like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, sir. How yeah. did you get my phone number? I can't do that. That's a pretty dumb thing to ask from an FBI agent. Hey, if an FBI agent is investigating you, Rest assured, he knows your number, your address, your affairs, your wife's... If, yeah, they, they know everything. They also know the size of your dong. They also know how many kids you can have in the future. Because uh, we're talking about the FBI out here. These suckers are ruthless, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for your content. And the shies are hard. Your content makes me relax. You're happy. I got you. But shit, what's good? Welcome on you, man. What's it? I do. But, uh, yeah, bro, like, the FBI agent knows everything. They know your entire family tree, your DNA, and how many genomes you got. Do you have, like, one or two, or you got, like, more than that? Bruh. Affairs. They know well, everything. He might even know your breakfast, lunch, and dinner patterns. I mean, that's, like, putting it lightly. They probably know the size of your dong, let's be real. What types of boxers you like to wear. It's also important to note here that Agent Hatton yeah, had Michael. valid reasons Absolutely. for seeking such an informal meeting with Deputy Gordon, <laughs> as revealed later in the interaction when Agent Hatton subtly hints at his potential involvement in a more extensive inquiry into the Sheriff's office that goes what? beyond the scope of the Deputy's citation while conversing with his supervisor. You can't call anybody. You cannot call anybody? You just hear back this guy up. It's Franklin County this morning, so you have to call the Sheriff to let him know oh, that dang. the deputies have been stopped here. Hmm, the plot thickens. Anyway, the officer later goes on to detain him, giving sloppy reasons like, Oh, I don't trust you being an FBI agent, and you are being uncooperative. When in truth, he was the one who denied checking the agent's registration. Hey, you are detained. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, the plot really is taking it. Like, I was sort of, I was kind of shocked. Like, the FBI agent is, like, putting their hands on. That's, like, wild. I mean, they, after all, they got more authority. Uh, if you're in the U.S., like, who has more higher authority than uh, the FBI? And not talking about the president. The president would probably have more. Uh, but, but like, uh, who, in terms of, like, you know, the public uh, servants, I think they hurt, hate that word. <laughs> so let me just be a lot more, like, uh... Nah, they are public servants. What am I even saying? Bruh. Like, you know, first responders. In first responders, who has higher authority than the FBI? Who do you think has it? At this time, sir. Hey, I don't think this guy's legit, man. But you're being very uncooperative with me. I, you asked NASA? me to come up here. You called CIA? my personal self. Okay, CIA. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So you mean NASA, like the Space Center? Nah, they, they're different, though. They're not first responders. Yeah, CIA. CIA. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. CIA cannot operate on a uh, on U.S. soil. I think CIA and CIA makes sense to me, but I'm not sure. Anybody higher than CIA? Probably president. I but even the president doesn't have the clearance to know everything either. Phone number. You do, you can't tell me how you SP got it. Plus? Your vehicle is coming back to a wiring company, not the FBI. Mason, I see you. Okay. You Dude, get mad. You, like to see some registration? you get mad at me would because you, I turned my body like the, camera on. Would you like to see some registration? And you know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. <laughs> Uncooperative? Really? First, do your job as an officer. Yeah. As the dilemma continued, Agent hadn't even showed his license and his badge for the second time to Officer Gordon. But somehow, Gordon remained unconvinced. Eventually, Multiple supervisory officers arrived on the scene, oh, but they were even worse than Officer Gordon and they decided to arrest him and put him in the back of the patrol car. Not only this, they even decided to not roll down the windows or turn on the AC, and given the hot day in Florida, it was only inevitable that things didn't go well for Agent Hatton. 
Man, imagine like being an FBI agent and then you get treated like this though. Like that's bumbuka right there. National security agent. He's gonna sue him. Let's be real. Please say answer. Say hi, Elsa. Elsa. Uh, Elsa, drive you if you say hi. Yo, Mason. Uh, okay, I don't want Elsa to drive me. I'm good as I am. But shout out to you and Elsa. How about that? I think we got a deal here. Okay, what's good, man? How you doing, brother? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, I'm turning it on right brother. now. Open what are the odds he turns on like the heat? The heater? Sir, I can't open the door. You're what? being detained right now. As time passed, the agent started complaining, and in spite of his repeated plea, the cop continued to ignore him. You're burning me up, brother. I had the defroster on. No, you didn't. Brother, I need air. Yeah, he turned like what a twat. Like this is what I absolutely hate, right? Like no, I'm not a cop hater. A lot of people hate cops, and for uh, they got their reasons, and I truly understand where you're coming from. But it's like I'm not a cop hater, but I hate the idea of them having like more authority than you. You know what I mean? It's like you get arrested. Like listen, like what you gonna do? You 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 know what I mean? If they decide to end your life, they can. Like let's be real. Like how many times? You know what I mean? Yeah, the judge has more authority. Yeah, you're right. But it, but does the judge has more authority than CIA? Technically, I think he would. Because everybody falls under the judge, right? Like, in the court of law. In the court of law, the judge. Absolutely. But it's like... You know what I mean? Like, I absolutely hate the idea of them having all of this authority over you, right? Like, they have all the power. If they wanted to end your life, they can. I mean, let's be real, though. You know what I mean? And in third world countries, it's even worse uh, sometimes. Yo, the brother, brother big coming in with five paper. What's good, man? Yo, thank you for the five, man. I appreciate it, brother. Can you react to GTA 6 huge release news? I, I did earlier on, Eddie. Like, on the stream, just rewind back, go in the beginning. I did, I did. We talked about PS5 as well. Uh, I appreciate it. Did you drop, like, two of them or one? Because I see double there. But I appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Let me show you some kisses. You're the first tip uh, of the night, man. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, the, the mischief, what's up? Chao Wang, how you doing, brother? Welcome on in. God All of a sudden, they receive a phone call that should put the entire event to rest. Your close friend is a cop and I love that guy, but these bosses are sick. Yeah, listen, I, I'm not a cop hater. I truly do believe uh, that there are good cops. Uh, just like how there are good people and bad people, you know what? Uh, it's, uh, it's one of those things, right? Like, money is not bad. Some people think money is bad. Money is not bad. Money just reveals who you are truly. If you were, for example, if you are a miserable dude, but you do not show those uh, shit, like symptoms, once you have the money, you're gonna, it's gonna amplify who you truly are and you're gonna be able to see, see the character. Same is happening with, with the cop. Once you're given that power, once you're given the, the weapon, you got the authority, once we you're given the power, him. you're big. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, the, thank you for the five, man. I seriously appreciate that, man. I, I love you, man. So money and power just reveals who you truly are. What a manual? He is, he is legit. Damn for him. All right, that's what I'm doing right now. Here we go. All the proof you need in the world. However, even after this, the officer chooses to retain the agent inside the patrol vehicle, despite receiving explicit confirmation that he is, indeed, an FBI agent. Damn. Instead of promptly following the given instructions to release him, the officers continue conversing about the situation, all the while the agent pleads for his release. It is only after an additional three minutes of entirely unnecessary conversation that the agent is finally allowed to exit the vehicle. But sadly, the damage was done. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Call, call 911. Call 911. We're, we're releasing you right no, now, call sir. Call 911 now. Call yeah, break. like he probably having like underlying condition or probably had trouble breathing. That's the truly sad. It's like, like humans do that to other humans. I mean, yo, Alex, what's good? Devil, what's good, man? Big boy coming in with another five. I appreciate you, man. Luder, Lourdes, what's good? Eight scary ghost videos everyone's talking about. But the first one is the spirit. Like and share. Subscribe. The first video for today comes from a user named Pigzeo. The video caption when translated from Spanish to English says, Video shows alleged spirit running towards a forest fire in Pedra de Ite Parva, RJ. And well, that seems to be exactly what happens. Ow! Holy crap, what the hell is going on here? So fires are raging. Are these first responders? Probably. 
you spot it? No, I don't blame you. It happens so fast that if you blink, you'll miss it. So let's slow it down. For a brief moment, when the camera pans to the side, the mysterious figure suddenly appears. The figure Damn. hunts towards the direction of the fire with what seems like flailing arm. Your man is doing a Naruto run right now. But what do you think this is? Is it a lost soul from the fire or something else? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure yeah, you subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next set of clips that I put together come from a user named Javier ST97. The backstory to these clips is Javier's best friend Antonio had been missing for a few days. He didn't turn up to college as normal, and his mobile phone just went straight to voicemail. Worried about his closest friend who he hadn't seen in days, Antonio decides to visit his house to check up on him. And then, what did he see? Honey, I'm home. Okay, bro, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so bells are being engaged. Yo, big boy, thank you for the two. Yo, you guys are being very, very generous. I appreciate it, man. And big boy, you specifically, I appreciate the tip, man. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll do alien videos as well, but don't want to do them every single day. You know what I'm saying? Because yesterday we did two of them. Where the F could he be? Javier knocks on the door and rings the bell several times looking for his friend, but there's no answer. It becomes clear something is up as usually Antonio would answer his door. Even more worried now, Javier makes his way around the back of the house. He hops over a wall, navigates the ledge, and then finds the back door to Antonio's house is, for some reason, open. Yeah! Alright, let's get into it, man. The door is open, he says. Honey, I'm home. Yeah. Yo, imagine the door shuts, though. Antonio! Yeah. Antonio? Antonio? Where you at, Antonio? Antonio! Javier calls out to Antonio, but gets no reply. In this next clip, Javier makes his way inside. Oh, rip. Oh, no. As he tries to open the door... Rip. Yo, what if something, like, comes and run after him? Rich. That's strange. Holy crap. Javier! Hey! Hey! Yo, how are you normal after that? He backed away a little bit. It's gonna do again. I'm I'm positive. I'm positive. A door oh, slammed shut right in front of Javier, and orbs can be seen floating around. Wanting to find his friend, Javier doesn't retreat and continues to look for him. Uh, okay, does it mean sorry? Oh, if you got a note that says sorry like that, oh my goodness. Hey, loco! <laughs> okay, he did not say hey, man. Okay, listen, I don't speak Spanish, but loco that that does not mean hey man but i mean that's that's a way to call him hey loco hola como estas amigo oh oh no don't open that door bro e scratching and that's when the music starts oh shit okay it's over bro start praying right now bro start praying che loco so ojo yo loco ya fue boludo i came to see how you're doing está bien are you okay? Yo, what if it, there's like a hole hey, loco, in there? Si yo voy a salir. Can you hear that? Knocking. Oh no, this is bad, bro. This is bad. Nah, bro, don't don't open it. Don't open it. Okay, the the door seems locked right now. I think you should try to study criminal law, bro. Javier finds a, a note on the table it. saying perdón, which translated from Spanish to English says sorry. Then, as he approaches... Uh, Mason, right now it's not a good time to make a cat video, bro. Like, my channel is not about cat videos. Right. I, I feel like that you found the stream on a vertical feed, so... But I appreciate you, but it, we cannot do a cat video, man. Which is Antonio's room. The door to it suddenly slams shut. Javier calls out, but gets 
No reply. Then the sounds of knocking can be heard on the other side of Antonio's bedroom door. Javier tries to get in, but the door won't budge. However, in this next clip, Antonio manages to get inside, and what he finds shocks him to his core. Oh shit! Antonio! Honey, I'm home! Alright, let's go in. Puta madre que lo parió! I'm reloading. Yo, why did you blur that, bro? I'm calling fake to be honest, but what are we thinking? Oh, it's gonna come here. It's gonna come here. We, what if that was like a like a like a hobo there? You guys think it was a hobo? I think it was a hobo. I will not hurt you. All right, come on now. Oh crap. Oh crap. Did he like jump and Yeah, run, bro. Run. Run, run, run. run, run, run. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of running already, bro. Run. Javier kicks open the door and a dark figure can be seen suspended on the other side of the room. But is this under- God, why did you blur it, man? That's my thing. He's in pure darkness just to let you know. Yeah, Mason, like, I figured. I figured. You should not be watching these videos, bro. It's uh, past your bedtime. Antonio, it turns out it was. Horrified, Javier flees out of the room where he then senses something in the darkness on the other side of Antonio's house. He cautiously approaches and then a door slowly swings open. But this is where I have to ask, did you see it? A pair of glowing eyes suddenly appear behind the glass window at the top of the door, staring straight at him for a split second. But Javier doesn't see it. Shortly afterwards, Javier leaves the house, devastated by the loss of his friend Antonio. However, the story does not end there. With unanswered oh, questions and a mystery surrounding Antonio's trap. Now, Mason, you're good. You're good. I've just know that my channel is not about cat videos, bro. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we do gaming and some scary videos like that so yeah Tragedy. Good, Javier man. decides to revisit Antonio's home three knocks are bad though Antonio I found Antonio Esta la pieza. this is the room yeah. oh shies he says mm. la laucha. this is a shower now that was definitely not his friend yo what up Cal Gives me goosebumps. You feel a heavy energy, I don't know. Okay, so lights are turning on and off right now. The lantern. Oh no, oh no. Again? I thought it was daytime. Okay, so lights are turned off again. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Who's there? Who's there? Yeah. Yeah. Bra 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 Oh no, don't turn around, bro. Don't turn around, man. I'm about to bust, bro. Oh, music stop. Lights not working. Damn it. The door is gonna shut. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> run, run, bro. Run, man. Oh, he's trying to run backwards. Oh, this is not, no, this is not the place to be, bro. I wouldn't go in there. Yeah, absolutely. Did you see the shadow that passes him? Yeah, uh, I saw like a shadow standing, but this is not a good, a good area to be in. Nah, Mason, you're good, bro. Don't worry, man. Oh, it's not. Nah, something is behind this. Something is behind this. Don't open door, bro. Don't open the door. Hola. Nah, don't say hola, bro. Que mierda, de ahí la concha de su madre. Who the f is there? Damn. Nah, don't open the door, bro. Don't open the door. Don't, 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 don't open the door. Just lock yourself in here. 
Check, check lift. Clear, clear, clear. I think it's clear. Door shut up. Confirm. Check right. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, that, yo, that, that scared me. That genuinely scared me. But previously, I wasn't that scared, but that scared me. I'm, I think the video is fake. I, I, I feel like the video is fake, but, but it's entertaining. Dorn turned back, there's a big... Javier inspects the room where he found Antonio when suddenly the lights flicker around. Guys, if you're watching these videos late at night, do not turn back, okay? Never watch these videos. Never watch these videos alone, first of all, and never look back. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, Happy, but... On and off. In pitch black, Javier uses his phone light, and as he enters the hallway, a figure can be seen entering the room at the opposite end of the hallway. Man. But seconds later, when Javier gets to the room, there's no one there. He tries the lights, but they don't work. Then the door to Antonio's bedroom slams shut right front of his eyes. Terrified, Javier flees and locks himself in the bathroom, then banging can be heard on the door. Javier calls out, but again, he gets no reply. But then when he bravely peers into the hallway, a dark figure can be seen slipping away out Yo. of sight. Javier rushes over. But now, realistically, what do you guys think? Uh, real? One, if you think it's real. Two, if you think it's fake. Like, I'm leaning towards fake, but... Okay, it was good. The last scene was definitely very mysterious. The reason I'm calling it fake is because, like, why would you censor in the very beginning, right? That just uh, did not give me that real kind of vibe-ish, but yeah. But the figure two, two. is nowhere to be seen. The video then ends. TikTok viewers were left frightened by these clips, with many believing that something sinister was the reason behind Antonio's tragic fate, and that these glowing eyes and this mysterious dark figure seen throughout. Okay, those glowing eyes, I mean, those were very, very suspect though. I, I would say that, because usually you only see like uh, the, the animals, like cats or dogs' eyes glow like that, right? on camera is the culprit what do you think happened here comment below yeah. this next creepy clip was uploaded to tiktok by a user named dj hillier the user's account is centered around her adorable son declan but nothing supernatural at all that is until this video we're making a video of the upkeep involved in her house she caught something which has left her frightened Okay, or bathroom is being... Uh, what the hell? Daytime? Somebody was... Standing. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's creepy though. A dark, ominous figure can be seen creepily peering in through the window. But when she rushes out to check who it is, the figure is mysteriously vanished. It could, yeah, it felt like that the, the, the figure kind of like ducked and went down. So I'm assuming like he jumped on this and just ran on the other side. What is even perhaps more confusing is that the window is quite high up, meaning that whoever or whatever this is would have to have been around eight feet tall. So who, or rather, what is this mysterious dark figure seen peering in through this family's window? Use the comments to share your thoughts. Yeah. Uploaded to TikTok back in October 2021, this video has left viewers spooked. The video shows a family celebrating their teenage daughter's birthday when something strange happens. Yo, I remember this. I feel like I've seen this one before. Yeah, I feel like uh, somebody else will come in and blow the candles. Yeah, you've seen this one? Yeah, I remember this one seeing. I tell you, like, some, like, ghost, come on, man. You're, like, for a birthday girl, you're, like, really gonna steal her, uh, thunder? Like, the ghost stole her thunder and blew, like, the candles. And he's singing now. Oh I come on, blow it already. What the heck? Who's it? Who blew it out? It was hard because he said it was. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, she looks around. She thinks that uh somebody was behind me that actually blew the candles. But nah, man, man, damn, bro, like holy shit, right? Like, 
After all these years, after all these years, she waited for this birthday, right? Bruh. And somebody else blows a candle. Come on, man. You inner appreciate you. Uh, Mason, maybe one day. Uh, right now, uh, we're waiting for GTA 6, brother. Thank you, Inner. It was a win. Mi abuelita. What way? Is that okay? Yeah, there's nobody behind. No wind? The candles suddenly go out. But how? Everyone at the party is confused as to who blew out the candles, especially the birthday girl herself, who actually looks over her shoulder to see if perhaps someone was behind her. But nope. No one's there. Someone in the background even shouts that it was the wind, to which someone can be heard saying, there is no wind. TikTok I mean, that, like, the, the candles just blew, like, fast, though. So, I, I don't think a wind can do th Unless the wind was really, really fast, right? And we don't see the, the, the presence of a wind being that fast. Uh, yeah, this might be real. This this is why I say, hi, Joe kids. Hi, Joe wives. The Martians. At this time, the Martians aren't here, but but still, though, they can be here. They can Top be here. viewers believe that something we can't see blew the candles yeah. out. It, like, blew all in one burst, right? Because normally, how many times you gotta, like, blow the candles off with your mouth for them to completely disappear, right? Like, it does not happen in first try, especially when you got multiple candles, so... Yeah, this was something. And even the birthday girl's sister-in-law chimed in in the comments, saying, I was there, she's my sister-in-law, and I seen the candles blow out out of nowhere. Strange. However, some argue it may have just been her breath when she laughed. But what do you think? Share your but, thoughts in the comments. But she laughed big time when the candles just blew off. Like, it, I mean, that little giggle is not going to blow the candle off, though. Oh, wow. In this next creepy clip, which was recorded somewhere in Latin America, a group of young friends decide to explore an old graveyard one sunny day. The girls can be seen messing around when the camera captures this. <laughs> oh man, what's ha what's going on though? Oh man. Hola. Hola. Oh, this might be creepy, man. Holy crap. I think I saw somebody being inside. Yeah. Somebody was standing there, right? And now it's not. Man, this is why mama said do not mess around with the things that bullets don't kill, people. The transparent figure of what looks like a girl in white is caught on camera. The figure just stands there motionless and the person holding the camera doesn't see it. Then when they pan back, the figure is no longer there. Proceeds to shoot, a head will pop out. Why are you at graveyard? Maybe somebody like passed away so they're there for that. But there are so many people. I feel like that, yeah, it's probably an entire family like uh, passing their respects, I guess. That's what it is. Viewers of this video, the person who re-uploaded it, believe that this is a ghost caught on camera. But what do you think? Could this be the spirit of a girl who's buried in this graveyard? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah. yeah. Number three. Number three. Late one night on November the 30th, 2023, at around 10 past four in the morning, the uploader's daughter is awoken by... Okay, 10 past uh, 4 in the morning, and we have the homie, Happy, says that, Nah man, 4 a.m., and just started raining, and it's dark. <laughs> yeah, I see you, man, I see you, man. It's probably a good time to watch videos like that, right? Especially when it's raining and it's night. ...by something and couldn't go back to sleep. The next day, the uploader notices he has a notification on his phone from his Ring camera. Intrigued, he opens his Ring camera app, and is floored by what he saw. Holy crap. At 10 past 4 in the morning, a blurry, white, 
thing materializes outside the uploader's house before it fades away. I think that's like Harry Potter with his cloak though. I think that's truly what it is. But what you guys think though, there have been so many videos like that where you see like transparent figures like that on camera. And it's like no one really has an explanation. I, I'm willing to believe some of these videos rather than the one that we had earlier, right? Like where there's like a guy, like a ghost running around, right? I feel like that was just like a junkie or a hobo. But these one, it's like, yeah, some of them I feel like that might, can be real though. They, that might be, yeah, most of the videos are probably fake. Let's be real, edited 100%. But there's got to be some that, that, that are real, right? Like because there's so many videos like that. So many videos like that like it was never there perhaps what is Ma most strike mason you're good man you don't have to be sorry you are good my man. Uh, i appreciate you and i got a new video coming out very very soon uh in an hour's time okay making is the fact that this mysterious blurry figure was captured at the same time his daughter woke up but whoever or whatever this is remains a mystery it does number two ghost kitty yeah oh, well you wanted a cat video well do not watch this cat video because uh after that you're probably not gonna like watching these cat videos i guess uh thank you mara appreciate it tiktok user it's baby ibby if you guys haven't already drop a like i would appreciate it uploaded thank this you. mysterious clip to a tiktok page with the caption ghost kitty caught on camera and oh, that could be a possibility Oh no, it's over. Now Mason is never gonna watch cat videos ever again. It always is freaky whenever, like, you see their eyes. Yay! Something transparent with glowing eyes appears to enter the room before it disappears into thin air. Commenters on this video believe this to be something paranormal, with Maggie asking, So my question is, did you have a childhood cat that you loved? To which Ibby replied with, My mama owned two cats that both passed away in the house years ago. She oh shit! Oh no! Oh crap though. Yeah, it always is freaky whenever, like, you record cats and dogs and you see their eyes glowing because in some shots it feels like that they are possessed. You know what I mean, right? One in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I broke into an insane asylum once at 3 a.m. with... What? One... Okay, let me finish that. Once with my friend, the place was shut down for torture. My friend was never the same either. The stuff we saw was otherworldly and time vortex or something. Holy crap. What city you, you talking about that? She continues. What city you uh, you actually experienced in? Like, where is that? Don't give me the specifics. Like, don't worry. But, like, the city. Where that asylum is. What city? One of them looked very similar to the figure in this vid, actually. Maggie then responds with, You got a ghost kitty. However, some say it might not be a kitty at all. What do you think this is? Is it the ghost of one of Ibby's cats? You saw Comment that one? below with your thoughts on this one. That's crazy. Like, they have a devil inside of that night time. Like, to get possessed when it gets night. Yeah, Buffalo, New York. Damn. Damn. You never know, though. You Okay, New York, it's like... Uh, I, what, what I'm thinking in my mind is that it could be like a hobo, like a junkie. Uh, just there as well. So you don't want to be in places like that, right? Because desperation is one of the biggest factors for crime. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you're safe. But, but like, try not to, you know? I mean, try not to go. Especially in areas like that where... You never know, man. You're probably not going to find a ghost. You're probably going to find a human there that might be up to no good. So, My friend that lives in Michigan always goes to... Final ghost video for today was uploaded by phantomologist David Rojas, the most recognized person in Latin America in the scientific study of ghosts and the supernatural. After hearing rumors of paranormal activity in a Mexican graveyard, David gathers his team together and visits the old graveyard. According oh, to local no. legend, oh, a ghost no. nicknamed the Lady in White who oh, suffered God. horrifically during... This is from a movie I remember as a kid, like, you, you know, in school it's like... Oh my god, bro, like, this kind of genuinely freaked me out. Uh, I, I have a feeling that he's gonna have jump scare because Mind Junkie likes to have jump scares, so warning for that. Uh, what what movie is this from? Anybody knows the name of this movie? Because I feel like I've seen this when I was in, like, a primary or, uh, like, early, in my early high school years. Like, a teacher put a movie like that. It was daytime, so, you know, but they turned the light off, so it fell, the ring, the...
Okay, so the movie is called The Ring. Okay, everybody's saying that. Okay, Nacho, I saw your comment on Twitch as well. During the Twitch Mexican quality is always better. Is said to haunt this graveyard. Many local residents claim to have seen her. David and his team the arrive ring. at God, the graveyard and immediately begin hearing strange sounds around them, wanting to investigate the place. David continues through the graveyard, and what the camera caught oh, no. is truly creepy. <laughs> we love it though, man. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, but you don't As get David to see explores properly. the graveyard with his camera in hand, a second camera, held by a crew member, captures a mysterious figure in white right next to him. We maybe somebody was there, like smoking like a fat doobie, and maybe it's just smoke of that. You never know, right? I'm new to your channel. Hopefully, I can be impressed. Yo, Pickle, welcome on. And usually, I just do gaming stuff and UFOs and paranormal stuff. We stream it here, but I usually upload that content on the second channel. So, if you're into that content, do not subscribe there. Subscribe on the second channel, which is definitely linked in the description. It's called Scary X, but I appreciate you being here. Welcome on. In. Itch seems to drift away out of sight. Unaware that they may have caught a ghost on camera, the team decide to leave a static camera at another part of the cemetery in the spot where the lady in white has been most sighted this is what the static camera caught <laughs> holy crap bro yeah this is one of those videos Some sort of transparent i always say this bro it's like the worse the quality is the the real the video feels i don't know why that is it's like we always say the same crap for like these videos and the ufo videos it's like if the video is real it's ai bro it's photoshop bro it's cgi bro it's fake bro how is can that be real and when the video is so like bad quality we're like why like in what year are we living in 2024 and videos are this bad this low quality we always say that right but these low quality videos they hit different man hello hello from russia you're welcome on in you know muslim is uh, equivalent to mormonism okay i don't know what that is um uh, uh define that uh elizabeth what's up welcome on in young funeral cats moscow video uh mason it's fine it's gonna be okay mason it's gonna be okay pale figure possibly dressed in white quickly passes you, the skinny. camera before mysteriously fading away into nothingness david rojas and his team were shocked by what they caught at this old graveyard but he believes that the footage they caught is proof that the place is haunted by the ghost of the lady in white just as the locals have reported yeah. Oh no, man. When the music start playing, everything is like messy. Everything is messed up. I cannot even say, honey, I'm home because there's no honey. You know there's no honey here. Oh, it's going down when the music stops. Nah, don't open it. How old that gotta be? You got family pictures. Nuclear family here. Oh no, do not turn around. Don't turn around, brother. Don't do it, don't do it, bro. So we got a cut in the video, fast forward, presumably. Yeah, somebody's in here. Holy queen. Oh man, yo, he fell. Brother fell and music start playing. Yo, you better run, bro. You better run. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I think he's trying to... Yeah. I think he's trying to run and he just like accidentally just did that. It all starts when you decide to check out an old apartment that was mysteriously abandoned. Oh, one sec, one sec. Uh, don't shoot. It was just the... <laughs> I don't believe in breathing air. I wouldn't touch things from haunted place. The music box always spells disaster. Uh, Heather says, can you make a video on tile? Okay, uh, I do not know what's that, but I'm assuming UFO, so I'll put it on my notepad and look for it, okay? Uh, so yeah, 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 I'm gonna save my notepad. I got you. No promises, but I'll look forward, uh, look forward to it, okay? Uh, Alright, let's uh, play from here. It all starts when you decide to check out an old apartment that was mysteriously abandoned. Soon, he figures out why the previous residents left in a hurry, leaving all almost everything behind. Yeah. After walking into a room with an upside down crucifix, he suddenly oh, hears no. an eerie jingle from the music box. Yeah, it's like 
There is no honey here. Normally, I would say like honey, I'm home, but well, it's this like, would be enough no to honey, scare anyone nothing. witless. He continues his exploration. Honey news, and that was a bad idea, bro. That is until he comes face to face with his worst nightmare. The crossfall, yeah. As the camera pans across the room, an item on the shelf is knocked down by someone, or something, Jeez. and objects are thrown at him by whatever's in the house. What the hell could have flung those things at him? Wasn't he supposed to be alone on this one-man Scooby-Doo adventure? Okay, bro literally said Scooby-Doo? Like, come After on, man. After this barrage, <laughs> he gets the message and runs to safety. He jumps Not out of the Not minding that his leg gets caught in some of the stuff on the ground. As legit as the guy might appear, we're not in the business of taking videos at face value. So let's take a deeper look. While the music box could have been tampered with by a remote device, it appears far too ancient to have such a feature. But we're not entirely ruling out that possibility. Mm. But what about the item that fell from the shelf? Strings, perhaps? Given the poor quality of the video, it's hard to look past the possibility of that. And since he turned his camera to the ground when Freddy? things were tossed at him, it's hard to tell if it was staged. That being said, there's a possibility- I, I think like, just uh, things started falling for no other reason than they wanted to fall. Bruh. You know what I mean? And the guy just genuinely got scared, so he's like, okay, let me just run. And he finds no way to hide, no way to run, so he jumps out of the window, bro. something far more sinister decided to freak him out there. What do you think, though? Real poltergeist activity caught on camera? Yeah, or a cheap be. shot at paranormal fakery? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Brother literally nine, fell too. Flickering e horror. Yeah. Flickering lights never fail to freak us all out, especially in pitch black darkness. Well, this dude is no different. He spoke. Make sure you guys uh, tuck yourselves in the blanket. Do not use the restroom tonight, okay? And if you have your lights turned off, do not turn them on, because you never know. You might not be alone though. Spotted something creepy in the distance, and curiosity got the better of him. Little did he know up, that the local legends about that reportedly haunted road might turn out to be more than just legends. Let's find out why. Okay, my okay, so that's probably Spanish. Oh man, that is you are that's how like horror movie starts, like literally. Don't all horror movie starts like that? You got cops. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. Yeah, cops going- oh no, ambulance, okay. The ambulance, yeah. And the lights are completely done, so okay, now they start lighting up again. Prompted by news of a nearby car crash, this guy whipped out his phone, expecting to film the chaotic aftermath. But he didn't know the flickering lights were just the opening act to a nightmare that would haunt his dreams for days. What many in the comments referred to as a clear ghostly apparition can be seen zipping into the woods. Could that have been the ghostly apparition of the person who took their last breath in the crash, I didn't even see that. wandering into the great beyond? Or was it just somebody who didn't want to be caught on the scene making a run for it? We analyzed the video a little deeper. You know, somebody was probably jogging. Bruh. You know, they were like, okay, well, I cannot miss my run, so I gotta go jogging. Maybe that's what it was. And there's a high possibility that this was just a camera flare caused by the ambulance lights. But how do we explain it, the fact that the flickering po- uh, But don't subscribe. This is a gaming channel primarily. Don't subscribe. Like I said, subscribe on the Scary X channel. I linked it. I'll link you again. This is where this content will be, okay? Uh, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Slamps went off at the exact same moment the ambulance passed by. Almost as if who, or whatever, was causing the lights to flicker, moved away from the ambulance for a brief moment, to then return to its shenanigans. Freaky, isn't it? What's your theory about this one? Ghost Holy crap. or coincidence? Comment below. Nah, they were on a jogging. Eight, eerie cameo. Like e almost every teenager, these guys always laughed at ghost stories and paranormal sightings. But what they caught in this video has left them speechless and questioning everything they thought they knew. Cooking in the stew. <laughs> okay, yo, why are you record? Why you record like a? Why do I go live? Okay, that was hilarious. The way she was sleeping like that, like. This one is really hard to spot. But before we go there, a huge shout out to our viewer Danny Sharp, who suggested this video on our Discord server. Thanks, mate. 
Now, back to our spooky business. These dudes appear to be having a little music production session at Stupid O'Clock. And soon they find out be good why now, it isn't straight. such a smart thing to do, be good. because you never know what might be lurking in the dark. As one of these guys records everyone in the room, he inadvertently captures something that was only pointed out by someone who saw the Snapchat video later on. Easy to miss, right? A creepy pale face can be seen for a brief moment, snooping through the window. Uh, yeah, absolutely, TNN. That's, that's what I do on that Scary X channel. Like, uh, ghost videos, paranormal, UFO content, alien content, and conspiracy. And I know, like, Casper's side as well. Like, um, yeah, small world, huh? Crazy! Uh, yeah, I would absolutely love to have you there. I think you're... If you enjoy this content, yeah, 110%. This I'll link that in, uh, in the chat. This a heart-thumping experience for anyone. Especially if you're the one that has to sleep in that room every night. But what if that's what they want us to believe? Are we oh, really man. buying into the whole unholy entity act? Or did they just recruit a friend to slap on some powder and play Casper? Ghost or glam? Yeah, what if that was like Casper's side? We can't know for sure. However, Probably was Casper's side. We must side. consider the possibility of something far more sinister lurking in the shadows. After all, these dudes didn't even know someone or something was there until a friend pointed it out. Oh Second, my God. we faintly saw a fully formed face by the window. Yo, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that in the very beginning. If it were a reflection, it wouldn't be so well formed. Throwing up the possibility of someone actually being on the other side watching them. But what do you think? Real or fake? Let us know in the comments. Number 7. Japanese yeah. Ghostbusters. These guys are all about exploring haunted places at unholy hours. Japan? They get hints from people who experience paranormal activities and investigate based on that intel. However, this exploration was one that made them reconsider their line of work. They end up in a hamlet that's been abandoned for decades with no electricity or accessible roads. One follower who had visited the place about 10 years earlier described seeing an old couple who creepily told him to leave and never come back, and he suggested yeah. they investigate the village too. Upon arriving at the village- I like this setting. You wanna know why? Like, if you have played the, uh, uh, Until Dawn game, it kind of has that weird feeling to it, right? It has that vibe to it. This is Squid Game. Yo, when is Squid Game 2 coming out? Why are you making fun of my name, Deku? I'm not making fun of your name, brother. <laughs> I never said anything about it. Maybe somebody else did in the chat. Stop making fun of the homie Deku in chat, man. They fan out and explore various parts of the village. They also agree to rendezvous every 30 minutes. Little did they know that within the first half hour, things took a sinister turn. They will all One of them fails them. making it to the rendezvous point and wasn't answering their calls. Terrified, they set out to find him. But their discovery makes them wish they had taken the creepy couple's advice. Oh no. Ow! Ow! Alright, let's check it out, man. Hopefully we get subtitles. Half an hour in. And they're done with it. Love to hear that. Bro, this is the first time I've watched him. Yo, wise, welcome on in. Deku, I got you. It's all fun and fake until some paranormal shies happen to you. Absolutely, huh? Yeah! Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, no way, no way, no way. Bruh, 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 bruh. He's sleeping or... Yo, oh no, the way he is, bruh. I appreciate you straight. Uh, chilling? Huh? 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 <laughs> huh? 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 They found their friend sitting with his head tucked between his knees, looking like he'd been dazed or hypnotized. But things only got spooky. Okay, was that guy with him, with them, or was he there for like days? Like he said, uh, bro, really pulled the nine on our video. Uh, uh, it's a Canadian version, bro. Let me actually zoom in. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's the Canadian version. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. So it doesn't hurt actually. It's very, very polite. Here from here. I keep it for safety, you know what I mean? Keep it for safety, man, just in case. Oh, yeah! <laughs> he was probably sleeping while being used? Man. I think this is a hobo infestation here. I think there are a lot of... Uh, Junkies out here, probably. The footage found on his camera shows a ghostly figure looking through one of the doors. 
Oh my goodness, bro. You Throwing see that, you never come back. Because he wasn't expecting someone to be there. But when he turned the camera again, the figure had vanished. Yo, did he put like a Mob of the Dead background music? Holy crap. How many of you guys played uh, Mob of the Dead or Call of Duty Zombies? Not sure if it's linked to the meeting, but in this deserted village. Oh my god. You did, huh? Then, he saw someone who appeared to be wearing a kimono sitting in the kitchen area. And, as you may have guessed, the figure vanished right after too. But, if you found this one creepy, wait- Guys, like, what would you do in that situation, right? Like, you see it's like nighttime, right? Like, it's haunted, like, you're kind of scared, you see a man just sitting like that. Would you have the courage to like go and you know, I would personally like, hey man, just call his name. Hey man, hey, what's going on? And if he turns, I'm running right then and there. If he does not respond, I'm calling the cops. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing because still like it's a life, right? Yeah, what if like, uh, but I don't want to put my life in risky too, you know what I'm saying? Like what if like you see like a junkie coming at you, maybe like a, there's a hobo infestation, feel what I'm saying? But if you're not that is if I'm alone, right? If I'm with my squad, then like we are hooded up and all that crap, then I might go in busting though. So I actually have my Easter egg video set up right now so I can do all the Black Ops 4 maps lol. <laughs> uh, absolutely not run. Yeah, right? Like, because you do not know. Because uh, the way I was feeling, like, the guy's just gonna like turn around and give you one of those, like, one of these look, right? So that's what I felt like. But thankfully, he did not. But the, But he felt like that he was just overdose or something until you see what they captured the other night uh oh okay yep i'm up for after a bit of still the dude gets nuts by someone <laughs> <sequence. laughs> okay hollywood acting gotcha 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 Damn, brother almost fell though. explored a room believed to be haunted by a witch with a rocking chair, where anyone who sat on it would suffer a loss of senses. With the chair now gone, they improvised with the TV. After a while, the guy used his bait, oh, felt a hand in it. So basically, brother was like this, like this, so he was just, whoa, whoa. Uh, what, what are we thinking? One, if you believe it, two, if you don't believe it. You do not investigate by yourself, absolutely. Nice, <laughs> nice, uh, nice, uh, nice acting, brother shoulder and pulled a screw Dang. you guys i'm going home and ran for the stairs but just when they thought they'd escaped the horror this happened oh crap oh crap it was up there right so everybody with their cameras and lights now i'm calling cap I'm calling. As the entire team gathers on the stairs. Nah, this is bull squash. This is this video is bull squash. Uh, he was learning to swim. Yeah, maybe. See someone you don't don't know at night in a desert village run like all of hell is after you. It's a ghost or a tweaker or a squatter. None of which you need to tangle with. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. They spot an eerie shadow lurking behind one. Oh man. <laughs> Whether you believe this to be real or fake, just imagine capturing something like this on camera. He got the riz on him, right? Would you continue getting tips from strangers about haunted places for you to explore at stupid o'clock? Nope. Screw that. Nope. Number six. Yeah. Have you ever Denied caught something on your security camera that got you thinking? But you shrugged it off as probably nothing. Well, this Reddit user didn't think much about what her CCTV caught until last week. Look at what she captured. Ooh, I feel like I've seen this clip before. Oh no, I have not. What? Holy crap. Is that Harry Potter on his broomstick though? Yo, it certainly feels like that, right? Man. Okay, no, I have not seen this clip before. That is insane. This one sparked quite a debate with multiple theories on what happened that night. First we have the drone fans, who believe this to be a small drone since it lights up the ground and outdoor objects. Other commenters seem pretty sure that this is someone with their phone reflecting the glass off the window. 
It's certainly not the typical bug on the camera lens though, leaving paranormal believers all excited with the possibility that this could be something unexplainable. But what do you think? Phone reflection on the glass window, small drone, or something else entirely? We'll let you guys be the judge on this one. Number 5. They're Spying On Us On a rainy night, two friends and a camera captured more than just lightning and stars. Check this out. Dude. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yo, I honestly wish, though, like... Because if you live in a major city, you can never see stars. You can never see stars. They're, like, non-existent because of the air pollution and the light pollution majorly. But the stars are really... I mean, the best place to look at stars has got to be Sahara Desert, right? Because there's no nobody there. Pollution would be non-existent kind of-ish, right? No light pollution either. You feel what I'm saying? Why is Kizzle Modley? Man, if you ever hear someone say your name and someone doesn't say it, you might be haunted. Uh, if you ever hear someone say your name and someone doesn't say it, you might be haunted. Or if you ever see someone who looks like one of your parents and your parents is with, isn't with you, run. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like best five five stars uh, tip right there. Look right I'm above in Miami the trees. and I've never seen many stars. You would never. I mean, in a big city, you would never. Right above the trees. Oh what? my god. Dude, what is that? This? That is not a plane either. Yeah, dude. The Martians are oh here. Gosh, Lock dude. yourselves in the basement. Me neither. Oh, oh dude. Wow. Did you see how fast this just went? There it is. It's right there. Dude, it? yeah, I got it. Did you see how fast that thing just oh went? No, it's moving. It's that, that is a UFO. Dude! Oh, he's Where did it go? Out. Dude, where did that thing go, bro? Did you see how fast it just left? It's freaking gone. There is no plane that can do that. That was a that dude. That was a UFO. Dude, that was... <laughs> These guys were probably cloud gazing as it rained, but soon they noticed a star that didn't seem right. What? Dude, what is that? It zipped around the sky at high speed like it was a fighter jet before it finally flew away at supersonic speeds. Oh! Dude, did you see how fast this just went? Now this is a really weird one, mainly because of how fast the object was flying in multiple directions. It was clearly not a shooting star or an aeroplane. So, real UFO sighting? Yeah, how many of you guys believe in the UFOs? We do that whole lot on the second channel. Uh, TN, uh, TNN says that UP, MI, and Alaska are fairly light pollution. Yeah, they would be as well. Uh, I mean, if you go like anywhere, for example, if you leave the city and you go just like 30 minutes out of the city you're probably gonna start to see a lot of stars right especially at night time like if there's no other lights around you shut your car lights off you're gonna see some but i'm i swear to god man in sahara desert that's gonna be the best place though there are definitely hot spots in the world where you can go and see like the you know what i mean like fully full-blown clear we're gonna see like the milky way and crap like that but forget about it if you're in the city forget about it if you go out outside of the city forget about seeing like a milky way that's like very very you gotta go a little bit far out of the city to be able to see that how many of you guys truly seen uh milky way by your with your own eyes i never have sadly one day one day but my my friend actually went to egypt and he actually was in the desert for a little bit and he get, shared his experience and he said uh, because he uh we're in quebec right i'm in montreal so my friend actually uh, left the city, went like two hours away from the city, and he saw like a lot of stars. But he's like, bro, you cannot compare that experience with what I uh, experienced in Egypt when he was in the desert. So yeah, uh, 50 miles east of uh, Cincinnati, and we have three things here, forums, animals, and things you don't ask about like this. Okay, it's a great deception I never have. Yeah, same. One day, one day. Or something else. Let us I know. believe there's more life out there. I do. Yo, 100%. I'm a believer too. Number four, home terror. TikToker Mayku has been on the receiving end of some pretty strange activities ever since he moved into his new home. But this time, he finally summoned the courage to get his phone to film it. Here's what he called. Uh oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, what? Oh, he's not going inside then, huh? What's up with the... Why does the ghost want like the... the, the... Hmm? Okay, probably sitting in front of you, bro. 
Ini mungkin tak siap, mungkin lah. Yo, you do not show your... Yeah, watch, the bag is gonna fall. The bag is gonna fall. Like Scooby-Doo once said, rough, rough. <laughs> yeah. We need Freddy right now. Okay, nothing's moving. It's all calm. Yeah, 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 run. <laughs> run. Alone run, in the run. middle of the night, he notices the bag he dropped on the bed is slowly creeping to life, edging along the bed surface until it finally drops to the floor. I will throw that goddamn bag out of my house immediately. Bro. Oh. And that... That's not gonna solve anything. That was to be that. honest, but... Or at least that's what he thought. One night he was on his phone when his chair subtly moved by itself. As the chair drags itself towards the bed, fear overcomes him and he makes a run for it. You got that horror Guess movie music in the background the too, huh? agent in the morning. Number three, Creepy Teddy. Oh no, I Ever not wondered Teddy, why kids bro. are so scared of being alone in the dark? Well, this video involving a little boy might be the answer you need. Take oh, a look. Rip. Holy crap, like is that is that like a spirit running around or like that kid running around like that and oh, Okay, he's being pushed right now, okay. Damn. This young chap was watching TV while holding his teddy bear when it suddenly jumped at his face. Yeah, F that teddy bear, bro. Throw that teddy bear out. Like, guys, like, do not, if you're a parent or wanna be or gonna be a parent soon, do not buy your kids those dolls, man. And especially that teddy bear. Never buy your kids a teddy bear, okay? Don't buy your kids a teddy side bear. Of the, room. the potato camera quality is pretty annoying, but still. This is one of the strangest clips we've seen in a while. Oh, how can you explain so that teddy freaky, movement bro. and how genuinely scared the kid seems? Given how little background- Yeah, initially I thought that that was like not the kid running, but like a spirit just, just moving around. But it, 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 we find out that the kid was so scared, like he started acting this way. Information we have about this one, it's hard to know exactly what happened there. The house could be extremely haunted, or the kid could have just scared himself out of the blue somehow. I mean, the kid is probably getting bullied in school, and now we got a ghost bullying the kid. Like, Who knows? yeah, right, stewards? Number two, late night spectacle. You collect stuffed animals, Heather? Yo, watch one of them. They're gonna start moving tonight. Yeah, oh, shit. yeah. Okay, I don't want to say that. That might be actually scary. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you never know, though. Okay, I should not be saying that because that would amplify your fear. But. Isn't that what I'm trying to do right now? I might actually be trying to do that actually, so... What you're about to see has left many scratching their heads for answers. Maybe you can find a logical explanation for this utterly shocking video. Take a look. Uh oh! Oh, what? Oh man, nah, if I see this bro, I'm just Naruto sprinting. What the f <laughs> She's recording for TikTok, maybe. She's dancing. She moving that booty. Yeah, like she's Late probably doing night, it for TikTok. Guys were heading home when they notice a lady moving in a pretty disturbing way. I know you might be thinking she was having a mental breakdown or reacting to substance abuse. But yeah. What if? Oh crap. What if it was a demonic manifestation? Or perhaps the video was sped up to give it a more bone chilling effect. Did we just witness a demon possessed woman freaking right out? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, probably a crackhead Nacho, but but then it's like started. She started moving the boot head, and I was like, okay, I mean, probably recording for TikTok, right? Oh, or just another day in Ohio. Another day in o yeah, Ohio, Ohio, Heather, Heather. You said you were in Ohio, right? Come on, man. Yeah, Coco, uh, Coco cannot say that word on YouTube. Coco is one hell of a drug. The Coco Melon, let's just say. Heather, come on now. What are we talking about, Heather? Come on, man. Ohio, what are we talking? <laughs> I've got a stuffed animal and the eyes broke off, so I taped them back. Uh, yeah, hide, yeah, definitely put like tape on the, the eyes of the stuffed animals. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, they're seeing you, though. Number one, mystical piano. Oh, rip. Certain musical notes have been known to strike a chord with certain paranormal entities. And this guy is about to find out why he might have to pursue another career. Watch this. Oh crap. A new career? That was not on my bingo card. 
Ding dong ding dong ding dong ding. Yeah, he saw like somebody behind him and he went like ding dong ding dong ding dong ding. Now that yeah. is one hell of a reason to freak right out. Imagine living in a haunted house where object Yo, honestly, like no cap, like this is my 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 bunker, right? So like I got three monitors. Sometimes I I, I felt like somebody was you feel what I'm saying? Like, thank God, like, Vivi asking, have you ever had experience? No, I never. Thank God, never. You know, I'm a believer. I believe in God. Never had, you know, positive, uh, positive hair that never gonna have. But, but like, sometimes, like, I be feeling like, uh, you know, because I'm in my bunker here. So, sometimes it's like uh, I'm working on monitor and it feels like on the left side of the monitor, it feels like that something was behind, like, or, and I look back and there's nobody. As though, like, somebody, like, smoked a fat doobie, though! You know, that's how I might pee myself now because of ghosts. Uh, what is the, the video called? 10 scary videos to make skeptics think twice. That's the name of the video. Objects move and strange sounds emanate By out of thin air, But then you capture something like this on camera. Ding, A shadowy ding, figure ding, that ding. manifests behind you when you least expect. But when you turn the camera, it's gone. Guys, the night is still young. Click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. Check it out. You're gonna love it.